right, it is fight time, which means it is our time. Let's get to it, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, folks? Yours truly, Jay Smoothie, here to give you the commentary for one Friday Fights number 39. Uh, pretty much wrapping up the year here. Already a 39 of these cards. Crazy that we're literally at that number and that we're going to be hitting 40 next week. Shout out to everybody that, of course, is in the Animal Room. And, of course, real quick before I do that, shout out to both Ant William, who uh, dropped down five, got five on it. Rush, Rush Hour, I'm sorry, <laughs> Rush Fight Family Club for Life. Hey, appreciate the five. And, of course, Kiwi. With the 10 spots, as I agree. And thank you, Aunt William, and thank you, Kiwi. I owe you guys trifectas before we get started. Shout out to everybody that is here already, of course. Gary's here. Skate is here. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Pullman, of course, stopped by a little earlier to say hello to the people. So let's get the party started. We have two MMA fights. The rest are Muay Thai. And actually, folks, it's going to be, it's gonna be a, a full weekend this weekend. We have this card right now. Of course, tonight on Amazon Prime, we have Haggerty Andraj. Tomorrow morning, uh, we have a fight that I know a lot of fans are highly anticipating in BKFC. That is Bull Cow Sanchai, Bare Knuckle Muay Thai Rules. That'll be tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, the return of Rico Verhoeven. Been gone for uh, about two years now, and he's making his return to glory. And then, of course, after one week off, the UFC's back, and we head to Sao Paulo, Brazil. And the headlining fight with Jalton Almeida, Derek Lewis, other fighters on the card, Gabriel Bonfim and Nicholas Dolby, and the only co-main event Dolby will ever be in. Other Brazilian names like Kyle Barrio, Rodrigo Nascimento, Rodolfo Vieira, Ishmael Bonfim, of course. Basically, Brazil versus everybody is what this card on uh, Saturday is going to be. Brazil versus the world for the UFC, so this whole weekend's pretty stacked up, man, so I'm finally happy, we're ready to get back to the action, good to see, of course, special Brandy Bro, hope you're doing well, my guy, this one's for you, Aunt William, first trifecta up, appreciate the donation, my guy, cheers to you. Part three. And now let me load one up for Kiwi as we wait for our first fighters to enter. Moises from the Philippines against a motherfucker named Cho from South Korea. Straw weight MMA is usually rough, but this is the men we're talking about, so maybe there might be something to it. Maybe, though. That's a big maybe. Big maybe. Skate him, I love you. Not to say complete opposes. Kiwi, hey, we love you, my guy. Much love. Ah, let's see. There we go. Gonna hit up the rest of my banana cushion and, of course, get into some of the other flavors I got for the weekend. A couple of sativas that I got uh, that a couple of the homies sent over my way, so I'm gonna be testing them out this weekend. By the way, this Moses guy is allegedly a dynamic striker. Let me do the measurables real quick before I get into this next trifecta real fast. Let me get to this. One Friday. Ah, fights. 39. There we go. So, we only have two of these MMA fights. Thank the Lord. I don't know why this says 25. It's at 115. Uh, 2-0 for the, li the Lion King. Oh, God. That's a name that's totally not stolen. Submission. Submission for this guy. Got subbed. He got a knockout win two months ago. Decision. Trying. Oh, okay. So, a, a mixed bag, if you will. Our first of two MMA bouts on the card. Then, of course... The fun happens right after that with Muay Thai. Good to see you, Chase Bishop. Hope you're doing well, my brother. Always good to see you, my brother. Hope you're doing well. This one's for you right here, Kiwi. Cheers to you, bro. Let me get my round clock up here. Let's see, three... 
Ooh, I had to sneeze right there. Okay, five minutes. And... Ooh, all right. Here we go. Oh. All right, there we go. Two, one. Okay, wait, let's drag this down a little bit then. Here we go, folks. Oh, Herb Dean is the ref for this? Damn, they got Herb Dean to work this shit? There we go, that's part one for Kiwi. Part two, good to see you, by the way, Matt Garcia. We outside. <laughs> And then, oh shit, Bendy with the four ninety nine. Cheers, Jay and friends. Cheers to you, brother. I owe you with three pieces as well. By the way, good to see you, Matthew Garcia. Hope you doing well, my guy. Oh, the Lion King, lol. That's a bad name. Worked out badly for the curry Sure says Kiwi. It definitely did. He definitely didn't have a good debut, did he? It definitely ain't going to work out for this guy, who I think is also making his debut, funny enough, the Filipino guy on the left, in the, in the, uh, yeah, on my, no, on my right. My right, which I guess on screen is, like, left. Good kick to the body, nice high kick for the Lion King. Elegon now eats a low kick from Cho. Cho with a nice one-two there to back him up. These guys just standing up. Just standing up for the time being. Jab by Cho to the body. Low kick by Gone. Low kick by Cho. High kick by Cho. No, that one's slightly blocked. Very slow and methodical pace to begin things. Good kick to the body by Cho right there. Cheers to you, Bendy. Appreciate it, my bro. Part two. And then part three. This guy is being slow to start this one out. Nobody really taking advantage. There's a good low kick. Now with single A by Lingon. And look at the Lion King. Just fucking take him down immediately. And now Cho has to scramble off his back here. MMA says Garcia. Yes. First two fights are MMA rules. Everything else is Muay Thai right after this. And now here they go. I'm just going to try to lay on Cho here. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It's Cho who has him down. I thought it was the other way around. Cho is the one that has him down. Here they go. And the Lion King, unfortunately, is making it out. I'd say the way we, uh, the way we say, oh, he was the king of lions. <sighs> Technically, you're right, though, bro. Technically, you're right. I, I, I guess that kind of counts as the same thing, but yeah. I guess a play on words, if anything. Thank you for the live. Thank you for hanging out, Zyrus. Great to have you here, my guy. Great to have all of the homies here hanging out today. We have a full day of one championship. Remember, right after the Friday fight card, we have the... Oops, sorry. We have the fight night card on Amazon Prime with Haggerty and Andraj. It should be a good one. This is a very slow pace to this MMA fight. My goodness. One takedown by Cho, and that's about all we're working with here. Now with Jab and a spinning back fist, can we get a red card? Shit, any card would be great. Red or yellow would be great right about now. There's a one-two by Cho. Eye kick by Cho, just off the mark. Or by Illingon, excuse me, off the mark. I imagine Cho probably going to take him down again at some point. Probably going to shoot low. He hasn't thrown shit. He's just kind of letting the Lion King hit him. He's letting the Lion King just kick him in the leg, jab him in the face. I guess he's waiting for the opening for a takedown, but it's a very slow process toward this takedown. Very slow, because right now, this pace is not very high at all. A lot of staring with these two. There's a spinning wheel kick to the head. Good to see you, Nas. Hope you're doing well, my guy. Give a turn. Fire by Cho. This is just as slow as that fight with the King of Lions. Oh, wow. There's a stuffed takedown, finally. Cho with the stuffed takedown. And now look at the Lion King finally doing something uh, noteworthy there. Stuffed takedown. Good high kick. 
Cho firing back with a two-piece. Spinning wheel kick by Cho is all the way off the mark. About 23 seconds ago. Can't even tell you who's winning this first round because nobody has done anything. There's another single leg attempt by Cho. I guess if we're going to go by any sort of action, anything significant, we can, we can credit one takedown, but that's about it. No real damage was done, and nobody was seriously hurt. It was just a, a, a takedown. Just a takedown. And there's round one. Thank God for that. Uh, Rodale wrote a, wrote a book. Eli King of Lions. I'm still Lumpy Coffee. Very fitting. Oh, man. Considering he allowed Cho to take him down, I'd say it's probably going to work out for him like it did the Indian guy. There's a couple kicks to the body. There was Cho catching the kick, and then that single leg was beautiful. Actually, it was kind of, well, yeah, it was It was good the way he set it up. It was a little ugly in the transition, but at least he got it. Then, of course, the Lion King got back up. There was Cho with a kick to the body, landed a couple punches. It was a, oh, it was a round one that was pretty slow in the pace. It was just one guy striking and the other one waiting for the perfect opportunity to shoot on a takedown. Very much striker versus uh, wrestler-esque right here. And now here we go with round two. I guess if we're going to go with who is who has the momentum, probably going to have to go with Cho. Only because of the takedown, but nothing else. Literally nothing else. Even though I got, I got to give credit to the Lion King for at least getting up off the floor. Because, goodness, he spent way too much time down there. Way too much for his own good. Popping the jab immediately is Mo Moises out the gate. And there's a good high kick from Moises. Erdogan really needs to figure something out here. He's already been taken down once. And his striking has not been crowd-pleasing, despite the fact that the other guy really doesn't want to do anything other than wrestle. All these strikes that Cho's throwing is just a set up a takedown. There's a return fire high kick. But yeah, he's just trying to set up a takedown. He's kind of struggling with it now. That low kick is there for him. That double jab for Elingon is working, but I'm going to need him to do a little bit more. Be more aggressive with it. He's too conservative. There's the high kick. He'll throw a good combination, good flurry of strikes, and then he'll just stop. Like, he'll, he'll have a good combo going, and then he won't continue it. He'll just stop like a motherfucker. And I'm not sure why he's doing that. There's a good kick and a good jab to the body now by Cho. High kick for Cho is there. Rev is saying, work, work. Herb Dean is even begging for work now. Another jab now for Elegon. Elegon. Herb is begging. He's saying, work, damn it, work. Okay, thank you, Herb. Thank you, Herb. Oh, you should have pulled the yellow, Herb. Herb said, if you guys don't pick it up, I'm pulling the yellow. He should have pulled it out right there. It's been a round and a half of no action. You should have pulled the card right there, Herb. Herb held back, man. I don't like that. Don't hold back on him, damn it. If they're boring, you need to tell them to pick up the damn pace. There's a jab by Cho. Now Cho with a single leg, and he takes down Ill Illegal. All right, damn it. Are you going to do that? You better be active on that fucking floor. Don't just fucking lay there. What's going on, Callum? Good to see you, Callum. Hope you're doing well, my guy. Fucking family, fucking savage animals. Don't forget to give Jay a true MC thumbs up. Absolutely. Make sure you give you a thumbs up on the way in and on the way out if you got to run out. And also remember that we're just getting started here today, everybody. We're just getting started. It's going to be a fun weekend around here. We have one fight night tonight. We have Bukal Sanchai tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. my time. Going to be about 6 a.m. on the West Coast. And I imagine out uh, further beyond might be a different time there. Rico Verhoeven returns this weekend. And then, of course, we have Brazil versus the world for the UFC with Almeida, Jolton Almeida, and Derek Lewis in the main event. Super weekend, everybody. It's a, it's a stacked-up weekend around here with Cho scoring another fucking takedown. See how great, brother? Can I wait for Haggerty, man? I'm nervous. Oh, that's going to be a fun one, man. Haggerty and Andraj, bro. That, and Andraj, that's going to be so much fun. After what Haggerty did to Nongo, I think he's as... I think I think he's a he's, he's a good uh, pick for the night. Let's see. Like and share. Absolutely. Like, share. Tell everybody you know. 
about the Fight Club? Been lots of KOs, sis, sis. No, this is only fight number one, man. We're just, we're just getting started, my guy. We're just getting started. You're making great timing right now. We're in round two of a fight where Herb Dean has already threatened us, uh, to pull out a yellow card, even though he should have done it. He really should have done it. There's the two-piece there by Elagol. Elagol needs to do more. Cheers, everybody. A jab now by Cho right after the hook to the body. Cho doing a lot of movement. Come on, Herb. I'm going to need you to warn them a little bit, man. They're doing a little too much on the clinching. Missing strikes. Like, it's not a lot of effective movement here. Ooh, this bitch is still on fire. I've got about 50 seconds left. In, actually, no. About 15 seconds left in the second round. Beautiful hook there. Nice counter hook. Fight club on fire. You know it, bro. Always on fire. You spit on fire. Ten seconds. There's a good jab there by Ellen Gone. And oh my god, the end of that round was woo. Woo. Somebody needs to turn up the heat on that. Somebody getting KO tonight. Jay Andrade Haggerty, who you got? Woo. So it's funny, a, 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 a rule set like tonight, it really, it kind of favors, because here's the thing, Haggerty is more Muay Thai than kickboxing. The only thing that benefits him is that Andrade is more MMA than kickboxing. However, Andrade has kind of the better style for kickboxing, whereas Haggerty, you know, he has the he has the Muay Thai mentality. He's going to throw an elbow, might get disqualified. He'll throw a fucker, might get disqualified. So it kind of favors Andrade, but I, I, think, I think Haggerty can pull it off. I really do. It's not going to be easy, though. It's not going to be easy because Andrade uh, is, more of a ki is kind of more of a kickboxer than he is. But uh, I would like to see Haggerty win. That's that's who I'm going for. If I had to bet money on it, I would bet on Draj, but just because I'm not betting because I have just rooting interest, I'm going Haggerty. Haggerty already upset Nango this year in Muay Thai. I want to see if he can get another upset over on Draj in kickboxing. That'd be sick. Absolutely sick. There's a good high kick by uh, Moises to begin round three. This has been a very slow fight from the onset. Jab by Elingon. High kick, Elingon. Turn fire by Cho. Also, my other pick of the weekend, everybody. Flip a coin, but I'm going Boo Cow over Sanchai. I love both these legends. I hope they, they're they going to have a fire fight tomorrow. It's bare knuckle Muay Thai rules, everybody. So, no gloves, bare knuckle Muay Thai. I'm taking Boo Cow over Sanchai tomorrow. Let me know who you got in the battle of legends. I'm going Boo Cow all day, man. I love some Sanchai, but. Bukal, my boy. So I got I got ride with him. That's gonna be lit tomorrow morning too. Good uppercut by Elogon. One two by Show out of the corner. Elogon kick to the body. Movement and circling now is excellent. Slow stalking. They let us in the building. Says Garcia. Oh shit! They let y'all in. So wait, are you actually there? Oh shit! Yo, you gotta let me know how that shit is, man. A good eye kick right there by Cho. High kick by Elo Gong. About 3.18 to go. High kick for Elo Gong. Good kick by Cho. It's crazy. Thailand going to be lit all weekend, man. It's going to be crazy all weekend. Two one cards in Bangkok and then fucking Piata tomorrow for Bukau and Sanchai. It's, it, it said, oh, was that a low blow? What the hell? The Trojan, wow, okay, now fucking Elo Gong going to the corner. Oh, he's smacking Joe's head around. Cho lean forward, I think I hit the body. And look at the Lion King. Look at the Lion King. Lion King over. Ah, oh, they stop it. They stop it. Wow. Cho gets knocked out by the Lion 
Lion King. Boy says, Illo go the Lion King takes him out. Oh, I wonder what happened there. I think that was a body shot. That looked like a body shot right there. Oh. Oh, that was beautiful. That looked like a nice, well-placed body shot. And that motherfucker was like, oh. He was holding his stomach like he had to take a shit or something. I think he got hit hard in the body. Let me see. Oh, it was a knee. Knee caught. He threw a left kick and the knee caught him in the body. He hit, he ended up catching him in the ribs with a knee by accident. I think he tried to kick him with the shin, but instead of the shin hitting him, the knee hit him right on the liver, and that fucker leaned over. <laughs> Holy shit. Liver kick, yes, sir. It's funny because the knee hit him, too. He didn't even mean to do that. He tried to hit him with the shin, but the knee caught him. At least he caught him, though. He caught around the liver with it. That was awesome. That was awesome. I think it even surprised him. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> that hurt him. Excellent. That is excellent work. Excellent work. Beautiful kick right to the liver. The knee ended up doing the... When he threw the kick, uh, the knee hit said the, the, the shin. But either way, beautiful liver kick. Bayetafa. Let's see. These MMA fights. Yes. That's MMA. Next one's MMA. After this is Muay Thai. Only one more MMA fight, and then we finally get into the the real reason that I'm live, which is the Muay Thai rules battles. Ouch. Full on, brother. Full on. Hit the fucker in the liver. By the way, if you want to watch alongside me, hold on. If you want to watch alongside me, the fights are right here. Let's see. Watch. There we go. For those wondering, of course. There's the link to the fights. Cheers, my people. And you know what? There's a lot of good fights this weekend that I'm looking forward to. Tonight, I'm thinking Haggerty on Draj. Going to be fighting the night, but I'm going to lean Haggerty. Uh, Sex Ann has a Muay Thai fight. One of the other, speaking of Muay Thai legends, he's going to be competing tonight. Rotolo probably going to win, of course. Let's see. Anybody else know where they... Simpson Muda Muay Thai? Jesus. And by the way, that hair is something serious. Holy hell. Uh, I hear these two ladies, Ming Bo and the Japanese woman she's fighting, they might beat each other bloody. One can only hope. Supergirl gets another kickboxing fight. They love to... Book this girl within like three weeks of her fights. My God. Supergirl, active as hell. I like it. Tomorrow, of course, Bukow Sanchai. The rest of it is a lot of who's who. You're going to be saying a lot of who are the fuck are these people. Rico, by the way, good to see your funds flow. Hope you're doing well, bro. Of course, I would love to see Rico win, but Asaro has impressed me. He's won. He won a tournament, like a one-night tournament, knocked out two opponents, uh, he also destroyed Antonio Plazabot, the guy that was supposed to fight Rico after Reem failed a drug test. So now they're going to fight. And I think Asaro might upset him there. I'm dead serious. I think we might see an upset. And then here, if Derek Lewis doesn't catch Almeida with that big shot, Almeida's going to ragdoll him while all of the Brazilians are going to chant for Almeida to kill him. And I think he's going to do just that. Either way. Fun fight weekend ahead. Remember that Muay Thai fight last week in Saint Fight? Can't remember the bloody names. Oh, Callum, I'm glad you said that, Callum. We can look up the names right now, funny enough, because once I see them, I'll know exactly who it is. Let's go to events, past events. In terms of Muay Thai fights, this was probably one of the best I've ever seen. Hold on, let's see. One Friday... Fights 38. Easily one of the more entertaining ones I've ever seen on the Friday series. Let's go here. I know exactly who it is, too. As soon as I... Ah! It's these two. Pet Garfield and Num Pagna. These two had... I'd say... I'm going to say Muay Thai Fight of the Year. Just in terms of one championship. Easily the best Muay Thai fight. Uh, it was wild... 
it's really a fight that should have been a draw, but unfortunately they don't have draws in one Muay Thai. But it should have been. And damn it, they better not only make this a rematch, they better make it a one Friday fight main event. I'm dead serious. It was that good. That good. It was insane, but one of them got the decision. Yeah. It's weird. It was supposed it, it should have been a draw, but because like they don't have draws in one championship for their Muay Thai for some reason, they had to give a, a give it a winner. And honestly, that wasn't right. It was a draw. It was a certified draw right there. And I hope they run that shit back. I see not a Gary. It is a saying. Clem Lee, not too bad, says Nas. Yeah, not bad at all, brother. I can't wait to watch him fight. Simpson Moot's going to be a fun one to watch tonight. Him and Sex San in the Muay Thai battles? Ooh, I'm ready for that. By the way, we have Lucas Gabriel and Ker... Kerbanali. Kerbanali. Uh, Kerbanali. Isa Kabov. No, I'm sorry. Isa Bekov. Kerbanali. Isa Bekov. Against Lucas Gabriel. I think I said that right. I'm pretty sure a Russian will let me know if I didn't. This is lightweight MMA. After this is Muay Thai, though. After this is why we're here. Marge Singh against a guy named Patrick from Hungary. Uh, Longern and Karim. Detroit. <laughs> Not Detroit. Detroit. Look, Suen Auto Muay Thai. I guess Look, Suen Auto Muay Thai is the sponsor name, maybe? Against Abdullah. Fabio Hayes against Vladimir Kuzmin. Names above my head. And then let's see. Amuyan Det against Pet Lila. Good God. Uh, Nong Champ versus Pitek. <laughs> His name is Darky. <laughs> His name is Darky. That is that is fucking wild. Darky against Jack. That's funny as hell. Darky. <laughs> How do you get that name? How do you get that Muay Thai name if you're not like uh, some black foreigner or something? Uh, Sang Mendam against Dang Krang Cry. Oh God. E T Dead Ninety Nine versus Monko Cow. And then Konklai against Sooner Sen. Oh, these names are always something interesting. And now up next, folks, of course, Lucas Gabriel and uh, Kern, wait, Kern Bonali. It's a back off. Good God, I'm going to be struggling with that one all day. Stoned parents for Tarki. <laughs> Gotta be. I'm surprised that's not a like a Muay Thai name. If that's his given name, <laughs> somebody don't love him. Somebody don't love him too much. Cheers, everybody. <sighs> Shit, I wonder how his parents raised him. Shit, I'd be surprised if he has parents. That's that's wild. That is a wild name to have. As a, as a TIE fighter, that is a wild shit. <laughs> um, I don't know if I want to cheer for him. <laughs> out, of, out of pity for the fact that nobody loved him enough to give him a proper name, or do I want to see him get knocked out? I don't know. I'll have to wait and see till he walks out, I guess. Because I don't know. Do I, do I want him to win or not? I don't know. Holy steroids, Lucas Gabriel, truly representing Brazil here, my guy has serious fucking traps, like, it, it, not traps, but fucking lats, his lats look like wings, they literally look like wings and shit on his back, that is a crazy thing for a fighter to have, my man is definitely on uh, the Brazil secret juice, he's got the Costa recipe, here we go, round one. Lucas, Gabriel, good luck. Okay, what do for Gabriel? Or, oh yeah, I guess it's Gabriel. Or Gabriel. It's a back off with a good one, too. Gabriel with a one, too. It's a back off, starting to faint his way in there. Slowly stalk and move his way in. 
Trying to walk down Lucas here. Uppercut and a hook. There's a good one, too, for Gabriel. And a good eye, Gabriel! Gabriel! Oh, he had a rock for a second. Is that back off went right back to his bread and butter. He said he, he tapped into his fucking motherboard. He's like, oh, shit, I'm in danger. Let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. That waistline is tight. It's a back off. Gets Gabriel to the floor. Gabriel trying to get up. And now a knee for Issa back off. Another knee for Issa back off. Issa back off again. Another knee right to the hamstrings. Spamming these knees right to the legs of Gabriel. Yeah. That's when an angry man names Charlie Fonzo Sancho was coming around the house. <laughs> Says on the floor. It's got to be, man. Oh, shit. Grant had been with us for 27 months. Good to see the upgrade right there, my brother. Thank you, of course, for the support, as always. I owe you a trifecta for that. Hold on, let me make sure the animals are... There we go. What's poppin', Jay and animals? Always appreciate it, Granite. Always appreciate the support, my brother. I'll load up a trifecta for you. 27 months, man. Been a good been a good long time. Great to have your support for that long, too. There's a beautiful work by Isabek off, but I'm going to need a little bit more. The, the Lumpany fans do not like wrestling. They want stand-up, pure stand-up wars. This is what... The fucking fans of Lumpen he won. Oh, almost a takedown there by Gabriel. And a good knee. And they break away. Part one for your granite. It's a good one too right there by Gabriel. And a nice knee to the body there in the clinch. And Isla back off, of course. Quick to push him away. Part two. And part three. Dow down to about 225 to go. Slow stalking again by Isa back off. And again, Gabriel going to tie up on the head there. Oh, I thought he was going for a knee, but he let go of it. Now with jab and a low kick for Gabriel. Kicks out the leg of Isla back off. Fires back with a spinning back kick of the body. Excuse me, it's sneezer. About Twenty, about actually down to two minutes to go. Nobody's really pulling away in this in this fight right now. I say is a back off of one takedown, but so far it's been relatively even. Excellent striking though by Gabriel though. He's killing him with these kicks, man. He's chopping out the Russians' legs with these low kicks. The punches are doing some damage, but it's more so the the, the low kicks there. He's just chopping out the low. He's just chopping out the damn legs. They tie up and then immediately break away. I thought Islebeko was going to try something there, but nope. Jab it to locate for Gabriel. Another locate for Gabriel. Nice three-piece there by Gabriel. Gabriel, nice high kick. Bounce off the side of the head. Oh, Islebeko off with his own high kick to bounce off the head. They're matching each other now. Islebeko thought about a knee. Gabriel instead clinches up with him, throws a knee to the body. Nice knee to the body. Down to about one minute. Missed the jab. Does Gabriel in the low kick to follow up? Down to one minute. Down to one minute. Oh, it's a bang off. Not to go for the takedown, but it was stuffed by Gabriel. Now Gabriel with some knees. Look at that shit. Sprawl knees now. Another knee. Another knee to the head. Oh, is he locking up a head and arm? Locking up a Dars? Anaconda choke, maybe? Nope, he's just throwing knees to the head. Oh, I like those grounded knees where he sprawled him there and threw him, but uh, now he's like, gets back. What happened to his back? What is up with the Russian's back? It's like all marked up and shit. Maybe some canvas burn, some road burn or something? What the fuck? My man's back is all marked up. 20 seconds to go. Both land knees against uh, the ropes now. Herb Dean is still the ref for this. Ten seconds to go. He almost stopped the first fight because of how uh, how boring it was. Might do that here, but we'll have to see. And there's the end of the round. Good win in the round. Not a bad round right there. Need a little bit more action, but not too bad. Gonna have to get the slight edge to Islebeck off after round number one. Islebeck, of course, got the takedown. Had a little bit more control. I gotta say, Gabriel, though, killing him with the stand-up. 
If we're going, uh, the only thing he had, though, was stand-up, unfortunately. Because when he got taken down, it was ugly. Izabekov had stand-up to go with the wrestling, but he was he was getting touched up for a little bit there. But because he mixed the ground game and the striking, because he mixed the martial arts, we got to give him the momentum for now. So right now, momentum in the corner of Russia. Cheers, everybody. Here we go, round two. Both men starting off slow here. Slow stalking by Isla Bekoff. Low kick by Gabriel to one two. Another one two by Gabriel. Really sticking with the basic kickboxing here is Gabriel. I don't hate it. He's getting more confident now in the striking department. Clearly the better striker, but not the better MMA fighter overall. Just the better striker. But then again, being the better striker might be enough for him to win this if he can manage to piece up the Russian for two rounds or, hell, if he can even finish him. As for Izabekov, you need to get this shit to the floor because this guy is a better striker than you and quite frankly... If you stand up any longer, you're going to get... Yeah, you're going to get touched up. And he's getting touched up by Gabriel right now. <clears throat> this Russian better wrestle. He better wrestle. Because if he don't wrestle, this shit's going to get ugly in a hurry. This is going to get ugly in a hurry. You better wrestle. You better find a way to get him down if you are is a back off. As for Gabriel, you just got to stuff them takedowns and stay up. Chubby switch flying knee miss, but oh, that knee by Gabriel. Another knee by Gabriel. Gabriel two piece. Good overhand by Isabegoff. Jab now by uh, Gabriel. Down to 313 to go. Good low kick and a 1 2. Jab by Isabegoff. They tie you up. Is that Bekov pushes him into the corner, into right the ropes? Is that Bekov can't even get him to the floor? Drags him off the ropes. Finally gets him to the floor. They scramble, and Is that Bekov is inside control. This is what he needed. Now you got to finish it. Either finish it, or yeah, you you could just light him up from here. Ground knees in the body and the head. I like seeing that. Those beautiful ground knees from the side control are lovely. <clears throat> I love that you can throw them to the head and to the body in one championship. It's beautiful shit. Absolutely beautiful. Isla Bekov has that position and he ain't going to give it up worth a damn. I can tell. I can tell he does not want to give this shit up. Damn, he has to do a little float over there as Gabriel tries to get back up. But Isla Bekov is way too much for him. Way too aggressive. Top control for Islam Bekov is smothering Gabriel. And somehow fucking Gabriel gets up off the floor. Somehow he gets off the floor. Looked like he was going to hold him there for the majority of the round, but that did not happen. Now he's a Bekov starting to walk down Gabriel here. Islam Bekov is pissed that Gabriel got back up. Gabriel threw one jab, and now Isla Bekov's like, nah, we going back down to the floor. That Russian going to go for a takedown at any moment. I know he's going to go for it. Low kick for Gabriel there. Straight jab by Gabriel's there. There's a 1-2 by Gabriel. Slip and rip with a 1-2. Down to 110 to go. Loving what Gabriel's doing here. Low kick by Gabriel and a straight jab by Isabekov. Down to one minute. There's a nice hook by Gabriel behind the guard right there. Right behind the guard of Isabekov. Isabekov trying to really set up this takedown here. He's eating a 1-2 and a high kick for Gabriel. Gabriel is a, clearly a better striker than this guy. Isabekov is struggling to even put a combo together because Gabriel's just matching him in the striking department. Sometimes he'll beat him to the punch. 
Sometimes he'll slip and rip with the punishment. Just like that with the good hook and the low kick. Crazy how rushes can wrestle to get the wrestling position. They got to rush it. This is flawless. It is pretty crazy, ain't it? Oh, damn. Wait a minute. Gabriel said he got poked in the eye. Oh, no. And he immediately falls down in the corner. He said he got poked in the eye by a Russian. Shit. He said the Russian got him right in the eye. Damn. Right as I finished reading that, he got him in the eye. But you're right, though. It's crazy how aggressive they are with the wrestling and how aggressive they are to get the, to the position. When they've been training that way their whole lives, man, it's it's almost like nothing to them the way they just go for the takedown and, and get the position like that. Ooh, oh, yep, that caught him. Got the pinky right in the eye. That was an accident. That was totally an accident. Got to say, though, the, this Russian man, the, the wrestling is there. His striking is not as good. But, yeah, some about his wrestling is crazy high level, and it seems that way with a lot of Russian fighters. They either have the wrestling and striking, or they just have, like, they'll have, like, one but not the other, and usually the one they have is the wrestling nine times out of ten, like this guy. They're waiting for this man to recover now in the corner. Gabriel caught an eye to, I mean, caught a finger to the eye, and now he's recovering in the corner. Herb Dean waiting on him. Go ahead, since they're taking a break. Oh, now they're bringing in a towel for him. <clears throat> I think he's going to continue. Actually, yeah, he is going to continue. He's just warning the other guy. It's like they're trying to climb up the back of a goat. <laughs> this is me. Oh, what is he saying to him? Wait, he said he can't see. Oh, nah. Don't say that to him. You can't see. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Gabriel saying he can't see. That's not good. That ain't good. Damn, man. He was out striking him, too. Oh, that's fucked up. Please don't tell me they gonna stop the fight because of that. They probably will. If he's out here telling Herb Dean he can't see, that is that is not good. How much time you got? Are they going to give him time to recover? Okay, I think they're going to give him time to recover. How much time, Herb? Two and a half minutes. Damn. They ain't going to get this boy two and a half minutes to recover, goddammit. Cheers, everybody. Had to turn that back up since my volume dipped for some reason. Herb falling for this shit, says Gary. Yep. He sure is. I'm just glad he didn't stop it. He's letting this fucker take all the time he wants. He's taking a sweet old fucking time. Now he's getting in the Russian's face. There we go. Oof. Jab now by Isa back off. One, two, Isa back off. Ten seconds to go. Three, four. Now with a nice knee by Gabriel. Gabriel swing. Oh! Oh! Fucking chin check Isla back off. God damn! Isla back off his head. was like, who the fuck hit me? Oh, who hit me? Motherfucking head snapped after that. Oh, shit. I don't know how he fucking ate that. God damn. I don't know if the melodonium kicked in before the fight or maybe during the break there, but fuck. <laughs> he ate that shit right on the chin. What's going on, foul one? Good to see you, brah. Hope everything's going well, yo, way. God damn. Hit that man right on the chin with it. Cheers, happy Friday day, my people. I don't know how the hell he ate that. 20 yard kick. <laughs> now the real fights. Yes, sir. One more round and the real fights begin.
Here we go. I'm surprised that Russian ate that shit at the end of the round. Cheers, everyone. Good one, too, there, friends. I'll back off. Low kick for Gabriel. Gabriel, so far, folks, might be winning this fight. Feels like momentum in, the, in his corner right now. Damn, now a low kick for Gabriel. Ezra Bekov better do more than wrestle, because that's all he could do. There's another low kick for Gabriel. Another low kick for Gabriel. He kicking the shit out of this man. Now Ezra Bekov is panic wrestling. Ah, and he got the takedown. God damn it. Oh, man, he was... He was Kicking the shit out of him. And Isa Bekov said, no sir, let's get this shit to the ground now. Leg is fried. It definitely is fried, bro. He couldn't take any more of those. And he immediately panic wrestled in that takedown. It's a shame that Gabriel let him get it. Ah, Gabriel was controlling him. They're tied up in the ropes now. That was crazy. That was insane. And now Isa Bekov going to go to work. Wait, what is Gabriel doing? He's trying to get a trying to get a guillotine from the side here. It looks a little weird. And I see some blood on the side of Gabriel's body. I think that might be for Izabekov. I think that might be from the Russian, but I cannot tell. They're laying inside, and they're right up where the ropes are. I'm gonna need her. I'm gonna need these motherfuckers to drag them away from the ropes. This shit look awkward, bro. This shit look awkward as hell. They're trying to give it the pride feel here, but eh. Ref, uh, Herb's like, come on, work. I agree. There's not too much he's really going to do here. This Russian is a laying prey artist. He doesn't like to operate on the ground, Herb. Yeah, look at Gabriel. Gabriel's like, what the fuck, Ref? You go, you go stand us up or what? Thank you, Herb. Thank you. Now he says, stop, die. Come on. You just dragging him from the ropes, bro. You should have stood them up. Come on, that's weak. <laughs> that's weak. He's doing nothing down there. He's a back off is inside of the guard of uh, Gabriel here, but he ain't doing shit with it. Gabriel tying up the back of his head is like, I don't, I don't want you to fucking move, sir. Fuck that shit. Fuck that ground and pound shit. I don't want you to move. He's a back off. Finally frees his fucking head, and then he puts it right, <laughs> right back there for Gabriel to lock up. Oh boy, this is a shit show. Bro, stand them up. They are doing fuck all down there. And the lumpany crowd clearly doesn't like MMA, so they may as well stand them the fuck up. We are down to 224. This is just all lay and pray. Come on. Come on, Her Herb. We, you could give yellow cards here, bro. You could do that shit. Bloody elbows, all the pay-per-view payout from the UFC Big Stars. John Joe Lowe's pay-per-view, surprisingly... They're from the court now. Oh, oh, trust me. When when that antitrust lawsuit begins April 9th, when they go to court, oh, wait for all the real news to come out. That That's going to be a shit show. Uh, there's a bag of, don't want those lace kick. He does not. Not at all, man. Let's see, yo, what up? This is one championship, Herb. Real shit. Herb should not be afraid to stand these two up. Now they get up, but good lord, they have taken five years. And even so, he may want to separate him anyway because all Izabekov's going to do is hold him because he doesn't want to get hit anymore like Fowl once said. Now he's calling for him to work. Herb, he's not going to work. He's not going to work, Herb. Just just separate him. Separate him, damn it. Just go ahead and separate him. Finally separates. They separate each other. But oh my god, that took too long. That took up way too long. We didn't even need to wait all that time, Herb. You could have stood him up and we could have been ahead this right here, but okay. Couple low kicks there for Gabriel. Good. Good counter overhand there for Isaac back off. We could have had this exchange earlier, but alright, there's another low kick. Another low kick for Gabriel. Straight job for Gabriel behind the low kick. Just keep low kicking him. Another low kick. Another low kick. Got drama in the UFC. Oh, yeah, that antitrust lawsuit they got to go through next year. Oh, uh, there's a fly knee attack by Gabriel, but Isaac Bankoff said, Nope. Nope, we're going back to the floor. We are going back to the floor, and back to the floor they go. Isaac Bankoff takes him down and is now going to hold Mr. Gabriel here for a while to end the fight, sadly. Actually, wait. I got to let that clock catch up to mine. And the 20 seconds. 
Technically, I, we could end the fight here with the way these two are fighting. Ten seconds. Yep, this is how it's going to end. Thank God. Fight is over. Whew. We have survived MMA. And now next we go to Muay Thai. Muay Thai up next. Of course, we're going to get this decision real fast. See who won here. Give it to Lucas. He was poked in the eye. And the only thing the Russian did was panic wrestle. His stand-up is dog shit, but his panic wrestling is on point. And in one championship, uh, panic wrestling should not be enough. This is not the NCAAs. This is not the Olympics. This is not the Pan American Games. This is MMA, goddammit. If you can't mix them martial arts, you don't deserve to win. Ugh. Oh, wait. Oh. This one should go to Gabriel, but let's see. Let's see. We now go to the announcer that we never see. I am I swear it's AI, but they but um one swears is a real announcer, even though I never show her. All three judges call it. Winner by unanimous decision. Lucas Gabriel! Ah, the Russian thought he won! <laughs> the Russian thought he won. I'm, I'm like, why are you, why you raising your hand, bro? You ain't do shit. <laughs> that decision is right. You can't lay and pray in one championship and think you're going to win. Only way you can do that is if it's a grappling match. And unfortunately, we're going to see one of those later, but... At least only one long day, two card for one. Good to see you, Fataro. Hope you're doing well, my guy. And you're right, man. It's going to be a long fucking day here uh, at the Fight Club. Two one cards back to back. This one right now, Haggerty Andrade tomorrow. And then, for all my Muay Thai fans, Bukau Sanchai tomorrow morning. Tomorrow fucking morning. So, Muay Thai fans, you're up big this weekend. You get two one cards. And even tonight, Sexan and Simsamut both have fights. And you get Bukal. Kickboxing fans up too, because you get Rico. Along with Andrade and Haggerty. So, it's, it's a big weekend for MMA fans and non-MMA fans that love kickboxing and Muay Thai. Honestly, don't mind a new belly weight division of UFC. <laughs> He's really very way to settle in. Oh, God. Well, shit. If they were good. Well, they already had a place to settle in, actually. It's uh, PFL. Because we all know sissies don't love to throw elbows. You know what I mean? Uh, Lay a prey, Thailand won't get to a decision. Thank God for that. Uh, the announcer's that chick from Pride, right? It. I don't know who their announcer is for these fights, but it sounds like her. That's why I'm convinced it's AI. They swear it's a real, well, they swear it's an announcer that sounds like her, but I don't know about that. There's a conspiracy around if that announcer is even real, because they never show her. The crowd is always dark in there, and they never show the announcer. It's the weirdest shit ever. <laughs> it's like it's Fight Club or something. Uh, let's see, Dominic Cruz will be back at the commentary desk or fighting. Buka Sanchai, very doubtful. To our old and no uh, to accept only exhibition fight this day. Yeah, I am skeptical too. I feel like it's going to be a friendly exhibition, but boy, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong and Bukau Sanchai kill each other. That's that's what my hope is for. That this is not an exhibition and that they don't take it easy on each other. I, I want them to try to murder one another. And if they do it, then Dave Feldman got his money worth. If they go out there and have a sparring match for fun and laugh in Feldman's face, then that might be the end of BKFC as we know it. <laughs> it's be, I'm dead serious, too. Well, then again, they still have that card out in Denver, so at least they, they'll still have Mike Perry and shit, but at least their expansion out in Thailand's going to die if, <laughs> if that fight ends up being a fucking sparring match. They'll have to stay strictly in the U.S. Now, folks, we get into the Muay Thai... Marsing and Patrick. 
uh, Senza or Senna. Yeah, Patrick Zena, I believe is how they say it. Let's see, one has a game now like UFC. <laughs> that is amazing. I love how it's only on mobile, but damn it, if they make it for a console game, I bet it would do good. It'll do better than uh, EA UFC did. I mean, not EA UFC, EA MMA from back in the day. Soon be like the X Files case. <laughs> the lizard people. <laughs> oh, shit, the lizard people. <laughs> Oh, man, the announcer's real. Good to see you, by the way, Vecco. The announcer's real. Her name's Laura. Uh, she used to do K1 Max. It is good. I, I'm i surprised they don't show her. And they really should show her because every time I hear her voice, I always think of Lenny Hardit for some reason. Even though I know it's not Lenny Hardit, I'm always reminded of her. But, I, I, but that is what I hear, that it is a real announcer. I didn't know her name was Laura, though, and that she did K1 Max. Did not know that. Good to see you, by the way, Vecco. Hope everything's uh, going well your way. Uh, he'll fight Cody No Chin in the We Have Pussies But Matter politics. <laughs> oh, man. I'm surprised Cody No Chin is still around. But then again, the UFC once invested in him, so I guess they got to get their money's worth, right? Whatever money is left to get out of him. Cheers, everybody. Out first is Mr. Patrick Sanza. Or Zana. Out next is Mard Singh. Kolak Kol Muay Thai? Kolak Muay Thai, I guess is how they say it. Or Kalo or Kaya Lak Muay Thai? I don't even know. I'll let them say it. One thing she does do, that the announcer does do, they like to say the full name. Even though they display like, like the first name, sometimes they'll say the full name. So I'll see how she says it. She's a small Thai girl who don't look like she has that voice. That makes a lot of sense, Vecco. That makes a lot of sense. Because, like, every time I hear that voice, I keep thinking it's either Lenny Hardit or it's some, like, AI announcer Alexa type voice or something. So that makes a lot of sense. If they showed her, oh, that would, that would make so much more sense. But it's so weird that they don't show her at all. She's just like some voice in the sky. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, penises, lives, matter day. Eh, not, not in today's society, anyway. By the way, I believe this is the debut. Is this the debut for both? Because I don't remember seeing these two. Neither one looks familiar. Yep, debut for you. Never seen you before. Well, debut in one, I should say, not in Muay Thai. Same with you. Okay. So, both guys making their debut in the promotion. I have never seen either fight, so I don't know who's going to win. But usually what I do in this situation is that I, I usually lean toward the foreigners. Because I, I realize in this series that the Thai fighters are not always guaranteed to win. I've seen fucking uh, foreigners from like Turkey, fucking South America, somewhere in Greece... Somewhere in a place like Hungary or Budapest come in here and smack around a TIE fighter in front of their own fans. I've seen it too much to count out any foreigner here. So let's see what happens. This guy, 60, 60 and 15 for the Thai guy. For Mar Singh. If anything, that just makes this entire series that much more interesting because at least it's not just... A bunch of Thai fighters rolling through a bunch of foreign scrubs. You know what I mean? They're fighting foreigners with skill. And that's what makes it interesting. Because that means every week they're not guaranteed to win are the Thais. Here we go. Round one. Motherfuckers got to work for it. Jab and a low kick from Mard Singh. Jab hook from Mard Singh out the gate. Have a push kick straight jab. A three-piece low kick there for Sanaa. Low kick for Martin Singh. Oh! And look at that right hand for Sanaa. He drops Martin Singh. Five, six, seven, eight. 
Exactly. That's what I mentioned earlier with the foreigners coming in and making a statement against TIE Fighter Lega Zana. So now already throwing the bombs, throwing straight punches, nice elbow. Ooh, another big punch, and fucking Marta Singh almost gets knocked out there. Kick to the body by Zana. Nice jab by Marta Singh. Elbow by Zana. Another elbow by Zana. Zana, beautiful kick to the face. Just push kick to the face. Kick to the body by Zana. Kick to the body by Marta Singh. Hook by Zana. Already attacking him. Even has to even has to move laterally to attack him now. Jazz beautiful low kick. There's a one to my Marsing, and he already staggers it backward. And now firing back is Zana. Or Zana. Oh, good one, David Marsing. Low kick for Zana. Another hook by Zana. I'm surprised Marsing survived that low kick now by Mar by uh, Zana. Straight elbow by Zana. Elbow by Marta Singh. Another elbow by Marta Singh. Low kick by Zana. Oh, hook by Marta Singh. Another hook. Another hook. And a big elbow. Oh, oh they, they almost fucking fall. They tied up and they almost fell straight to the floor. Jab and a low kick by Zana. Low kick by Marta Singh. Marta Singh slips and they're right back up. Zana straight two piece to the face. Sticking out that jab. Nice low kick by Zana. Jab and a low kick by Zana again. Kick to the body by Marat Singh. Both crack shins with the low kicks. And now Marat Singh trying to hunt. Trying to hunt Zana who's fighting off the back foot here. Kind of a kick by Marat Singh. Gets in on Zana. Lands a couple knees. Both land knees on each other now. And now the ref going to get in there to separate him. Down to 30. Damn, low kick by Marat Singh. Low kick by Zana. Push kick to the face by Zana. Elbow by Marat Singh. Backs up Zana. Zana with an uppercut and about three hooks. Fucking Marat Singh got staggered for a second. The jab, elbow by Zana's there. Turn fire elbow by Marat Singh just to get off the ropes. Man, these motherfuckers just going at it. But clearly Zana, the foreigner, is ahead. One round down. Give it to Hungary. See, we've also seen TIE Fighters get smacked around and win. I've seen Star Wars, TIE Fighter shit. Uh, have an elbow, buy one, give a free boom. Hell of a fight, man. A lot better than I thought it would be. Surprisingly, a, a bit of a back and forth one, but Zana clearly ahead. And it's funny because I just as I was talking about how TIE Fighters get smoked in Bangkok nearly weekly... Here's another example of it. Another one pretty much getting smoked right about now. Zana dropped that man like a bad habit. Marj Singh, though, fought back. Was able to fight back, survive the round, but boy, he definitely dropped that first round, and he dropped it in a bad way. He let Zana put him right on his ass. One place he don't want to be. Here we go. Round two. Great jab by Zana. Two piece by Zana. Return fire by Madsen. Madsen going in with the elbows, the punches, beautiful knees now. Both swinging knees to the body in this clinch. Referee jumping in there to separate him immediately. Damn, one two now there for Zana. Low kick by Zana. Low kick for Madsen. Whiffing hook by Zana. Low kick by Zana. One two by Madsen. Elbow by Zana. 1-2 by Zana again in the face. Mainly piecing up uh, Mr. Mad Singh here. Mad Singh finally firing back. Finally walking him down. But of course, gets him in the corner. As soon as he gets him in the corner, what does Zana do? Zana just fights his way out of it. Now Zana with a 1-2. Step and elbow is beautiful. Fucking Mad Singh is trying to fight her back the best he can. But it ain't working out for him. Straight jab. Good right there. Oh, couple hooks now for uh, Martin Singh. Another hook for Martin Singh. Now Zana getting in there with the knees. Glenn's couple knees is getting leaned upon on the ropes, but still. Martin Singh is just walking this man down. Realizes that that first round was an embarrassment. Ooh. 
Fucking beautiful foot sweep there by Zana. That was like a sniper foot sweep right there. Kick to the body, straight jab to the face. Spamming more jabs for Zana. Kick to the body. Oh, good counter now by Marcy. Zana is wounded. He's about to fall over. Oh, elbow by Marcy. Zana's wounded. Another elbow. Another elbow. Another elbow. And somehow Zana is not dead. Somehow Zana is still alive. How? But Marge Singh now starting to march him down. Good uppercut, good elbow. Another pair of elbows are flush. Ooh, another elbow is flush for Marge Singh. He is landing on Zana now. Another hook is flush. Beautiful leaping hook is flush. Another tie up in the clinch. And fucking Zana is holding on for dear life. Zana's like, shit, you ain't gonna kill me. Zana needs to just survive this final 30 seconds. There's a good two-piece by Martin Singh. Need of the body now by Zana. 25 seconds to go. Man, oh man, that's bad. That is bad for Zana. He's been cut open, by the way, right above the eyebrow. There's another elbow that lands. Another elbow from Martin. These elbows are cutting him. <laughs> Fucking cutting him. 10 seconds to go. Oh, this is sick. Fucking Zana is getting split open. End of the round. Fuck. That's a one-to-one -one right there in favor of Marge Singh, who literally split that man down the middle. Why does no one herald X-Wing as a country? That is an excellent question, man. Excellent question. I don't know why they haven't done that. What's going on, Jay Herbo? What up? Nice shirt. Thank you, bro. Oh, ball is well, my guy. I thank Chaudhry for that. For some reason, one championship sent me a free one. I have no idea why, but shit, I'll never turn down a free shirt. Cheers, everybody. Whew. This is one-to-one. -one. Fucking Hungary, uh, unfortunately, is fumbling the bag here. Had Mar Singh beat... And Marsing's like, you know what? I ain't gonna fumble this shit. I need to pick up that damn bag and run with it. And that's exactly what he's done. And now Zana is in a is in a situation where his back's against the wall. And if he drops this round, he gonna drop the fight. Cause trust me, these these judges are as biased as you think they would be. Here we go, round three. Just marched him down as Mard Singh. One, two, and the march down. Got him in the corner. Ah, elbow misses for Zana, but a one, two from Mard Singh is there. One, two from Mard Singh. One, two from Mard Singh. Zana with an elbow. Mard Singh with an elbow now. The Thai fighter just marching him down now. He cornering Zana. Zana ain't gonna have much left. He ain't gonna have much left. He's getting the shit beaten out of him right now. Oh, straight jab. Zana's firing back, finally, finally firing back. He's been getting walked down for pretty much since the round began. Let's see, tonight's going to be awesome. Oh, you got uh, Hoya back and Haggerty on Andrade. Uh, as I think it's going to be a struggle for Haggerty to win because I think Andrade is a slightly better kickboxer. But I'm going to go for Haggerty. I'm, I'm hoping Haggerty wins it. I'm hoping he's winning it. Let's see, my man, let's <laughs> it. Good jab there. Oh, damn. Now an elbow by Zana. Another elbow by Zana. And now Marge Singh is starting to bleed bad. A lot of blood coming down that face. Hook to the body now from Marge Singh. Zana is bleeding bad. And it fucking, I realize Marge Singh is now having his face cut up a bit. Both these motherfuckers are bleeding. Both of them leaking. Both of them going to be drowning in blood by the end of this. And this is only the first fucking tie fight of the card. This is insanity. Hook to the body by Marge Singh. And look at Zana. Fire back with the push kicks of the body. Three piece by Zana. Zana low kick. Oh, look to the body. Look to the head. He bouncing that fucking head around. And he's swiping at the body. Fatara says, Haggerty for me. Always support. Guy with Muay Thai background. I can understand that. And, hey, I'll tell you what, it's it's going to be weird seeing Haggerty fight under kickboxing rules, not Muay Thai, but I, I, I still think he can do it. Went out earlier for Europe as clocks went back. 
So 12 midnight uh, start, says Gary. Yeah, it's turn back the clocks for you guys. For Americans, I know it's this weekend as well. There's a good elbow there and a low kick. Zenza, low kick and an elbow there by Zenza as well. Push kick to the body by Zenza. Or oh, Zena. Straight jab for Zena to the face. Two-piece by Zena. Elbow for Zena. It's funny, now that you mention the time change, I think for us, it's like Sunday. I think for Europe, it's like, obviously for Europe, it's midnight. I don't know for America if it's Saturday or Sunday. I gotta check. Ten seconds to go, but I know it's this weekend for us too. Ten seconds. Low kick, straight jab, and there's the end of the fight. Whew, very close. Very close third round. It's weird, because both men really had their moments here. I'm still going to lean uh, Zana because of the take, because of the knockdown, but ah. Let's see, clocks went back. Let's see, last weekend we went back. Yeah, I know for USA it's like this weekend. Got to check if it's like Saturday, Sunday. So yeah, it's, like, it's, it's that time of the year. Oh my God. To the body, to the head, and there was the elbow to the face. Oh, swiping hook. Like a credit card to his face. Had him bleeding. They might give it to Patrick because he didn't he didn't get knocked down. He got his ass whooped, but I'm pretty sure Mar Mar Singh was the only when they hit the floor. But let's see. I don't know who they're going to give this shit to because they both beat each other up pretty good. All three judges. Oh, they're giving it to the Thai guy, aren't they? Unanimous decision. All three cards go to him. They're going to give it to him. Oh, they win Zana. Wow. Wow. Normally when I hear that, I'm thinking they're going for the tie. But okay, I don't hate that. Patrick. I, I figured Patrick would win because he was the only one that didn't hit the deck. But wow. I was expecting some tie bias right there. And uh, we did not get that. Holy shit. These judges actually, I'd say, got it right. Even though I would take a split. What a fight. What a blood fest. Wow, says Diego Navarro. Good to see you, Diego Navarro. Hope you're doing well, my guy. Oh, man, that's crazy shit. Absolutely crazy fight. Absolutely crazy scrap. A lot better than I thought it would be. Up next, a catch weight is long and and uh, Kareem. Uh, let's see. Turn clocks back. You guys need to wind up for 500 years. Ah, I wish. What's going on, ADFG? Says knockdown. Yep, that was the difference. The knockdown always makes a difference in the end. Thank God they got it right. Good fight to kickstart. I would be good like this all day long since Vitar. Same here, man. It's going to be good with this lineup tonight. We got this beautiful lineup. It's going to be It's gonna be a good one. It's going to be a good one. I'm going to hit the bathroom, though, everybody. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Boom, we back. We got it back. Let's see, long earn. <laughs> Hungry Sack of the Mongols. The Pershings were savages. Let's see, hell yeah, I'll be back. Hell yeah, Grant, do your thing, man. If you guys need to do your thing, do your thing. I had to go run to the room real quick. Of course, had to make sure I get more water. Ah. 
clear as fuck. Jesus, you would think fucking predators walking around in the background the way that's looking. Uh, crazy how we got two one cards, two BKFC cards. What a weekend. How about it, man? BKFC Orlando tonight. One Fight Night 15. Then, of course, tomorrow morning, a true, I, I'd say a, maybe a dream fight for Muay Thai fans. Just because it's between two legends. But let's hope it's an actual fight, not a sparring contest. Not to mention, Rico Verhoeven makes that return after two years. And then we have Brazil versus the world for the UFC. It's just fight after fight after fight. After fight after fight. All weekend long. After after a bit of a quiet weekend in terms of you know high-level promotional action. We're back at it this weekend, man. We are so back. We are so back, fight fans. Everything you could want. If you want MMA, we got it. Kickboxing, we got it. Muay Thai, we got it. Fucking, we're getting everything this weekend. I think there might even be boxing tomorrow, funny enough. Like a like a lower level title fight, but still. Scrapping nonetheless. Pugilism nonetheless. Oh, I like this guy's fight kit. It's like the highlighter yellow... With the, with the blue. Reminds me of my high school colors, actually. That fucking blue and gold shit. Looks a lot like the ones I wore for when I played ball. Cheers, everybody. By the way, speaking of boxing, uh, Kiwi, if you check your messages, I sent you the... Uh, the link to Fieri in Ganu, since I know you told me you weren't able to catch it. Uh, I sent you the replay of it. Surprisingly not easy to find, but I found it. By the way, Mr. Kareem uh, Dahu is now in the ring from France. The, the look in his face and that fucking hair is everything. Third, my man, 35 years old? Shit. At least he's making the debut now. And Long Earn, also making the debut. Two more debutants. And the weight class, catch weight 127. My guess is they probably either agreed on it or somebody missed weight and they agreed to 127. Because one thing about Muay Thai, a lot of catch weights, but thanks to uh, homies like Fatara, let me know. Some of the catch weights are agreed upon beforehand. Some are weight misses. Some are catch weights they literally agreed to, which honestly, I don't hate at all. If you agree to it and make the weight, I'm cool with that. But apparently there are some that do miss weight, but at least if anything, at least the fights are still intact. I like to see that. They a lot of it's like rare when I see a Muay Thai fight actually canceled. Because, like, sometimes there'll be a card. Usually it's, like, 12 cards on a Friday fight. I'll see, like, 11 fights on, like, maybe one card here and there. But for the most part, they do pretty good. Somebody falls out, it's like MMA. They usually throw enough motherfucker in there. Cheers, family. Cheers to you, Aunt William. I'll cheers up to you, bro. Apparently, this man is a Channel 7 stadium champion. A lot of Apparently, there's like a Channel 4 champion, Channel 7 champ out there in Muay Thai. And apparently, that's a big deal. It's just like being a stadium champion. Raja Demarin or uh, Lupini or some of the other places. Oh, we're getting a, um, we're getting a Y crew with this shit right here. I like it. Y crew style. That means somebody's going to die. We all know what that what that music means. It means what you're seeing, like, literally right above my head here. That means somebody's going to die. I don't know who, but we know what's going to happen. The French guy is just sitting in the corner. He's just like, you know what? I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do this and pray. And I'm going to let the Thai guy, you know, do the dance and all that. He's going to be, he, he's going to, he's going to get the crowd going here. See, Thai is many stadium, uh, many standard, most uh, a fighter in Friday fight is one-time contract. So, I mean, one-time, okay, is one-time contract who don't weigh in one time. Okay. 
So if they bring him in for like one fight, they don't have to wait. Oh, okay, see, that makes sense. Like, if you bring in a fighter for, like, just one fight or something, you know, you don't have to have them weigh in at a certain weight. They can kind of do a catch weight at whatever their closest, like, whatever weight they can get closest to. That makes sense. Especially if you're just bringing them in for just one fight regardless. That makes sense. Whereas you want your contract to fighters to make contract weight. So I get it. That's That, that actually makes a lot of sense, Vitara. That's a good explanation right there. I appreciate that. Kareem being introduced first. Muay Thai kickboxing record of 24 and 4. Out of France. Kareem Daou. Officially introduced to the crowd. Nice little ovation there. Bring him in to get smushed. Absolutely. And then one will be pissed if he gets the upset. <laughs> 51 to 61 to 20 for Long Earn. <laughs> Long Earn. That's an amazing name. Long Earn. Long Earn. Let's see. The judges. I, I see one UK. Look like a couple from New Zealand. They have Olivier Cost, who is a French referee who is proceeding over a French fighter's fight. I'm keeping my eye on you, Olivier. You better not be helping out this Frenchie. Round one. You better not be helping out the Frenchie. Make it even. Make it even. Good job right there. Jab and a low kick there for long earned. One, two for Dao. Low kick for Dao. Oh, shit. Kiwi with a 10 spot. Kiwi dropping in with a 10. Oh, shit. Hold on, I'll read that in a minute once it appears. Down to 230 to go. Jab and a hook right there. I'm going to read that. Okay, now I see it. I don't know why it's not on... Oh, wait, hold on. I know what to do here. There we go. Oh, that heart looks terrible. Uh, cheers for that, Jay. You know I can score a boxing glove shot. still count. <laughs> Good, of course, Gaby. And by the way, man, thank you for the 10th spot. I certainly appreciate that, my guy. Much appreciate that. I owe you a trifecta for that one, my dude. Down to two minutes to go. There's a good one-two now for Long Aaron. Good kick for Dao. Return fire for Dao. High kick for Long Aaron. Return fire for Dao. That completely whiffed. One-two for Dao and a low kick. Here's part one. Good jab for Dao. What's in for Dao? Good hook again for Dao. Dao for me. Oh, tight jab by Long Earn. And down goes Dao. Dao goes Dao. What? Seven, eight. Wow, Olivier was long with that count, man. Very long with that count. Back in. Get him a kick now for Long Earn. Ah, Dao is trying to go with a high kick and he falls on his ass. Just fell right on his ass. Damn, a couple rights now for Dao. He's desperately firing in a straight jab for longer, and he knocked him down. And fucking Olivier doesn't count for him. One, two, high kick now for longer. Three, four, five now for Dao. High kick for Dao is there, but the return fire for longer and isn't. Dao trying to fight his way back into this, but look at longer, and he's just peppering him now. Catch of a kick. Ooh, fucking straight fire jab. Puts him down, but they don't call it a knockdown. Jab to the body now. And now Dao trying to fire back. Oh! Fucking vicious aching by longer. Dao's down and he gets up and he's done. He's that yeah, he's done, bro. He done. He's done. He ate that lethal fucking kick on the floor. I don't know how the hell you stand up from that. Oh my god. That was execution style, bro. That was some execution style shit. Wow. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell. That was execution style right there. Fuck. Oh my god, he's done. Absolutely, this day goes smooth. True shit. By the way, part three here for you, Kiwi. Oh my god, there was that kick to the... Yeah, that fucking... Oh. Oh my god, yeah, he was done after that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, left hand on the ear. It was on the ear that he ate a kick to the ear. He tried to block the kick, but he ate it to the ear. Oh, 
That boy can't hear for a while, bro. His eardrum is shattered. Whew. Damn. Boom. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, no, we don't can't drag that one up. Uh, wait. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. Now, okay, I was trying to... Uh, okay, there it is. Like, why the fuck would it move it? But there we are. All right. That was beautiful. See how I said that? Because most people do not know how to score a box, right? Yeah, it's... De it's weird, man. A lot of the boxing scores you see are either biased toward the fighter or biased toward whatever criteria they got. So, yeah, I, I feel you, bro. Some people definitely don't know how to score it. Long arm, boom. I bonus. I agree. That's that's bonus central. That is bonus central right there. Gotta pay him. Gotta pay him. Here we go. Yep, there it is. Bonus. Easy. Easy. Easy decision right there. Gotta pay that, man. That was beautiful. Dao has reached and uh want to use his re uh didn't want to use to his advantage. Yeah. Like he had the reach. He, you know, looked like he if he set up some shots, he could have some success, but like you said, Nas, he just couldn't set it up. He could not set it up, man. That was just way too much for him to handle right there. Up next is not Detroit, but Detrit. <laughs> not Detroit, but Detrit. Detrit against Abdallah? Abdallah? Usually it's Abdullah. That's supposed to be a U, but somebody said Abdallah. Or Abdullah. I'll just call him Abdullah. Uh, boxing and cheater like couple, you have to lie with it. <laughs> yeah, live with it or don't watch it. Yeah, it's true. Boxing is one of those sports where, like, you gotta, in order to watch it, you gotta really love it. Because if you don't love it, oh, it's gonna be frustrating to watch. I will say, though, Francis Ngannou doing what he did to Tyson Fury makes things interesting at heavyweight now. Because now, every, listen... Every heavyweight in boxing now has one mission, folks. Well, no, they have two missions now. Not only to become champion, but to avenge the embarrassment of Tyson Fury. They, not just avenge that, but avenge, I'm sorry, avenge the embarrassment of boxing. Become world champion, avenge boxing's embarrassment. Because remember, boxing was owning MMA in all those boxing fights. Now when Ganu puts Fury on his fucking ass, oh, the heavyweights in boxing can't let that happen. Now now they got to fire back. They got to get their lick back for the sport's sake. So now, Ganu's made things interesting because now every heavyweight has two missions. Become champion and, damn it, get boxing's lick back. Because you can't dominate MMA fighters that long and then let the fucking heavyweight champion of your sport get dropped by a novice in his debut. You can't let that happen. You can't let that happen. Gotta get that revenge. Uh, let's see. Scoring shots clean. Uh, if you can get a glove in, doesn't count. Exactly. It's gotta be, it's gotta be clean shots. See, spend them. at was amazing. Gary. And instead of sport. Yeah, a lot of people do not understand the sport, so a lot of them can't really, can't really score it properly. Like, for me, I mainly went off aggression and getting that knockdown. Not to mention, like, of course, the knock... Like, for me, it was like Wilder Fury 1, where Wilder got the knockdown. Fury landed. The cleaner shots was the better boxer, so it canceled each other out. Really, that's what Wilder and Ganu should have been. Should have been a draw. If you're gonna if you're gonna save Fury's ass, don't give him a win because that's too fraudulent. <laughs> you got to give him a draw to at least at least be honest about the fact that uh, Ngannou put him on his ass. 
Uh, Fran's only going to get better. Yes, he will. Chael Sonnen said boxing no longer a sport. Yeah, Chael said a lot of things. Chael also said that Ngannou fumbled the bag uh, by not allowing the UFC to promote with him. And Ariel put him in his place, and that motherfucker was nearly ready to be in tears. So, yeah. Chael, Chael said a lot. Of, it says a lot of shit. But that's the thing about Chael, man. He's known for running his mouth, but he is not known for being correct. You know what I mean? <laughs> that boy is known to bark. Detroit and Abdullah. I love it. It's Detroit without the O versus Abdallah or Abdullah without the U. You going with Detroit without the O or Abdullah without the U? Even the announcer called him Abdullah, which is funny. Oh, what is this beat right here? This is like half depressing, half hip hop. Hey, that gym shirt look good though. That's like a basketball jersey uh, with some camouflage, like the army camouflage. That, that actually looked kind of good. If that's their gym shirt, I would wear that. I would wear that. If that was their, like, their, just based off the design alone, I'd wear that. That looks cool as shit right there. I wouldn't buy it, but if I got one for free, I'd wear it. Whoa, wait, that guy is a Robman? Hold up. One of his cornermen has a Dennis Rodman Bulls jersey on. <laughs> a Chicago Bulls Dennis Rodman jersey on. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. Uh, Chael said he's undefeated. <laughs> Chael's a loser. <laughs> Chael also said little dog no, undefeated. Bust a carrot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Chael's just a funny fuck. He's a funny fuck that likes to say a lot of silly shit. Oh, damn, this guy's got the kickboxing socks on? Okay, he's not here to fuck around, then. This Russian acting like he wants to do something here. De debut for this guy, too, right? Let me see. Look above my head. Ah, oh, not his... Well, yes, it is his debut. Okay, let me move that up a little bit. And now you. Your debut? Yes, it is. No info about you. And now walking out is Detroit. Detroit without O. He said you could take up with him. <laughs> oh, absolutely I will. If he'll respond to DMs, shit. Gladly take care take that up. Uh Detroit simply mean powerful, but yeah, really close spelling a uh, uh US City name. Yeah, that is one hell of a name to have. I love how it means simply powerful. And you know what? That's a better meaning than what it means out here in the U.S. of A. Detroit without the O. <laughs> but hey, powerful, that's a lot better than what Detroit stands for out here. Because yeah, it's the exact opposite of that out here. Uh, a bus, uh, a carrot, kind of funny. Yeah, that's what I mean. Chael is, is funny. He's a comedian. That's mainly what he is. He's a, he's a comedian. That is pretty funny, though. Especially during the height of his little feud with Brazil, specifically Anderson. This motherfucker looks like he's long and lanky. He looks like he's going to be way taller than the Russian here. Are they even the same height? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 5'10 for the Russian. And you are... five. No way. The same height? I, I gotta see them face to face. I don't know about that. One looked taller than the other, but uh, we'll find out in a minute. At least he's taller than the ring ropes. Let's see, seven and one for the Russian. That's that's about right. That's about the typical record that we see for a lot of Russian foreigners that compete in the series. Chill, also yes, he chill. That do big nog is petting it. <laughs> I remember that. That whole rant was pretty funny. 34 and 5 for Detroit. Detroit without the O. I love how the announcer says Derrit. And who is this? They have a Thai referee. It looks like two either Australian or New Zealand judges. I'm going to say the Aussie and then it looks like one from the UK. And here we go. Boom. Round one. Round one. Straight jab, Abdallah. Damn. Fucking push kick to the face. 
Fadeyakayev. Did a red good hook. Good hook by the guard. Low kick and a jab. Fadeyakayev now to the face. Good kick to the body by Detrit. Good push kick to the body now by Dekayev. Low kick, Dekayev. Ooh, what the heck? I am that fucking the trick gets dropped. The fucking tire referee had to fucking fall down and try to catch his head. Detroit six, seven, eight. Dayakayev gets credited with the knockdown there. Dayakayev now get the hands up high, get a slow stalk, slow walk. Three, four, five piece with all punches right on Dizrit's face. Oh, need an elbow now. Ref going, ref going separate him. Got to be careful. Got to be very careful. Low kick now for Dekayev. Two-piece Dekayev. Jab to the body. Look at this shit, man. Another Thai fighter about to get smoked. Damn, knee to the body by Dekayev. Damn, two-piece Dekayev. We just saw a hungry fighter do it. Now we're about to see a Russian do it. Kick to the body for Dekayev. One, two, Dekayev. Derrit, three-piece and a kick to the body. Caught, though, by Dekayev, and now a low kick for Dekayev. Two-piece Dekayev. Derrit being fucking cocky right now. You don't want to do that. Two-piece now for Dekayev. Knee Dekayev. Knee Dekayev again. Ref going to separate him. He says, come on, fight it out. Dekayev. Kick to the body is flush. Hook and a low kick for Dekayev is beautiful. Starting to walk down a corner, death rit. Or a dead rit. Low kick for Dekayev. Smitty back fist, Dekayev. Oh, beautiful. Fucking did de- trit. Fucking ate that shit. That's crazy. Dead rit with a beautiful fucking eye kick. But damn, he ate that back fist like a motherfucker, man. This Dekayev is out striking him. Low kick. One, two. Cyborg shit. Now I kick. He's like a Russian. He's he's basically a, a a Russian Terminator. Look at this fucker. And now they and now fucking Dead Rid is finally firing back. Now we need the body. But shit. Good hook. Good knee and another knee. Now they're gonna separate. Ten seconds. Oh. Good hook. They kind of kick to the body by the trit. Spinning back elbow for uh, Abdullah, and there is the end of the round. Crazy fucking round, man. I don't know why Detrit is holding his hands up. He got dropped. That fucking referee had to had to leap down and hold your head from being a basketball, and actually saved your ass. Yeah, look at that shit. I had to save his fucking ass in that replay. Uh, so I'm interested in Fury fighting Usyk. For not that interested in Fury fighting Uzi for Ngannou's belt. Well, yeah, Ngannou dropping Fury is gonna gonna kill off a lot of interest in that. So I certainly get it. If anything, Fury may as well just retire, let Usyk uh, unify the belts, and and either rematch Ngannou or stay home. Because <laughs> any fight outside of Ngannou for Fury right now doesn't interest or even intrigue anybody really. Like, boxing fans will act like it's still big. Not all of them, but a lot of the ones that are coping uh, over what happened, they're going to act like it's still big, but I'm with you. Unless Fury rematches in Gano, he may as well drop that belt uh, on Suleiman's desk and just, or either that or hand it over to Uzik. Fury going to school at Ukraine and have with. I fucking hope so. Then again, Fury got dropped by a cruiserweight, so I don't even know if he can handle this guy after that fucking shit he just went through. Then again, actually, not even that. I hope they even fight. That's the thing I want the most. I just want them to fight. Even though I don't think it'll happen after that. Fury's got a lot of shit to think about. Good knee there for Dekayev and a good three-piece for Detrit. Four-piece for Dekayev. Elbow for Detrit. Elbow for Dekayev. And a hook for Dekayev. There's a good jab. Spinning back into the body. And he somehow ate it. Good jab. Good hook. Spinning back kick to the body. Another kick to the body. Two, three, four piece for Dekayev. Great jab. 
Diehard boxing fans or my WWE fans. It's funny because, like, I, I will always have respect for boxing fans that love other styles of fighting. But, like, those who just go strictly boxing, don't like MMA, Muay Thai, anything else. Yeah, it's the wildest shit ever. They are in pain <laughs> over what happened. As in the motherfuckers that only watch boxing, don't watch any other form of fighting. Oh, they're in pain. They are in pain still. I love those beautiful knees for the treat. I will say, if Fury Usyk does happen, and all of a sudden it has actually more interesting shit to it. Good right hand, good jab. A crit. Frame's not a cruiserweight. Uh, let's see. What do you weigh? Yeah, he's not a cruiserweight, but what he is, a guy with power that can drop Fury. For Usyk, he doesn't even need to drop Fury. All he needs is just to have the, uh, all he needs to do is just have the speed to get in and get out on Fury's fat ass. And if a guy slow like Nganu can get in and land a, and land something on Fury, so can a small Ukrainian guy with more speed. He ain't gonna knock him down, knock him out, but he probably will out punch him and land him. Uh, Usyk didn't look good on his last fight either. He didn't, but the difference between Usyk and Fury is that Usyk looks shaky against a real boxer, whereas Fury looks shaky against an MMA fighter. I can't trust a heavyweight champion that looks bad against a novice in his, that's fighting a guy in his debut and didn't wash him. It's very hard for me to take him serious out of that. Oh my god, oh damn, fucking elbow, and now a couple of rights for Detroit. And reset him back in the middle, 10 seconds to go. Ooh, right hand for Dick, I have. Right hand, K to the body for Detroit. And there is the end of the round. Beautiful end of the round. I can tell you one thing. If the Fury that fights in Ganu shows up for Usyk, he definitely losing on points. Because number one, he won't be able to catch him because he'll be too slow. And number two, he'll let the shorter guy just kind of outquick him, outpunch him, and just kind of outland him, which will be embarrassing, but it'll it'll be it'll it'll be expected of anything. That round was not terrible. A little slower than the first, though. I'd say Detroit probably did enough to somewhat fight his way back into it. At least make it somewhat close. What I know is Fury lost to an amateur. Uzi does our his table. <laughs> that's not a thing. Believe that Fury took Franny seriously. He caught napping. Well, that's the problem. He didn't take it seriously, and he got caught napping. That tells me. That tells me a lot. Because really, he should have took it seriously. Because here's what he should have done. He should have ran through Nganu in about three rounds and then stared down Usyk. Instead, he got dropped by a novice and taken the distance. That stock that stock sales after that. Can't let that happen. You got to wash a guy in his debut. Can't let him school you like that. A good kick to the body for Deakayev. A good hook and a good uppercut there for the trit. The knee for Dekayev, knee for uh, De, uh for the trit. Ref separates him right off the ropes. Oh, hook for Dekayev, and now the trit will return fire and kick to the body. Hook for the trit, elbow for Dekayev, knee for the trit, another knee for the trit. They're in the final round, a hook and a low for Dekayev. Ooh, what's he for Dekayev? Oh, good elbow for Dekayev, and now a knee for the trit. Couple knees for the trit, and an elbow. Down to 150. A hook for Dekayev. Another hook for Dekayev, and a beautiful elbow. Kick to the body, catches the kick, and now a nice trip for the trit. Hey, Kai have two piece straight down to the face. Hook to the body, hook to the head. So one day for that Kai have. One twenty three to go. Kick to the body. Oh, good hook and an uppercut. Hook and an uppercut. You know boxing, book the next fight. No chance of a win. It has an agenda. Yeah, that's why Fury was going to win that. So now that they got the fight they want, Fury and Usyk, now it's anybody's ball game. So at least boxing got the fight they wanted. Now it's a matter of who's actually going to win it, Fury or Usyk. That's going to be the question. 
There's that hook to the body for Dikayev. There's a one two for the Tritz. Fight her back. Carry to the body by Dikayev. Let's flush. And he's trying to stalk Detrit here, but Detrit doesn't even care. He eats about a six-piece combo. Detrit fires with a hook off the rose, but once again to Akayev. Now he's just chopping away at him with hooks of the body. Knee to the body. Detrit trying to fucking take him down like it's MMA. Why would he do that? 28 seconds to go. Hook by Dekayev. Hook to the body by Dekayev. Down to 20 seconds. Hold on, I'm going to read that in a minute. Back elbow miss for Dekaya. 15 seconds. Oh, good hook again for the trick. Three of them. Now an elbow. Another elbow. Four. Five piece. Another jab. Another jab. Oh, my God. The trip backing him all the way up. And there's the fight. Uh, let's see. Funs flow. Well, like Fury and all boxers say, a badminton player can't beat a tennis player. Which is true, so there's no reason for Fury to take him seriously at all and still win. He's the best. I'll tell you what, getting 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 sh nearly shocked by a novice, it, oh, that that stock's gonna plummet a good bit. I don't know if Usyk would let that happen to him. Uh, let's see, would you guys bang a girl with Down syndrome? Uh, not any more than God already fucked her. Uh, let's see, Fatara. <laughs> I know, man. That that was so close right there. That was one hell of an ending. I really want to watch crossover, watch a crossover to MMA, put it to rest, any boxover, girl balls. Yeah, it's a shame, man. We still need to see that. Only Tim, only Ray Mercer has balls, but it seems like the rest of them don't. ADFG 2-2. Two two. That was very close. Very close. Let's see who gets this shit. That was tough. It sucks that they don't have draws, though, in one championship. Because there are some of these fights I see where a draw could be necessary. Let's see. Winner by majority decision. What the fuck? There are no draws in here. Wow, they really gave it to fucking Abdullah. Wow. Well, there ain't going to be tie bias with the judges today. At least we know that. A Hungary guy got a unanimous decision, and now a guy from Russia got a majority in a tie fight. Wow, okay. Fuck. Oh! Oh, I've been waiting for this fight. The tie hunter, Fabio Hess, against Vladimir Kuzmin. Oh, these two are going to murder each other. There's going to be a lot of blood. Let's see, PFL from friend in boxing. Heaven will be pissed supporting their organization. <laughs> Never fought there. How about that? Uh, still not at that rock bottom. <laughs> Down syndrome, girls, on top of the best. See, they're the man, I don't care what it says. Hey, whatever you can get, go out and get it. Uh, chick going, <laughs> going down with syndrome ain't bad. Hey, if you're down bad, at least you know it's easy, you know? Plus, no matter how hard you fuck her, you can never fuck her more than God did, because downs is something I wouldn't, I wouldn't bless on anybody, not even my worst enemy. Oh, at least we get to the commercials now with the knee knockouts. Ugh. I wonder who DJ is going to fight next. Funny enough. Russian invitation. Where's Soda Boy when you? <laughs> man, oh man. It's crazy to see some of these foreigners come in here and get fucking victories. Vladimir... He's fought a bit. Record above my head. Let's see. One championship. Damn. You lost to Haggerty by decision. Monk tied by decision. Last win was against a Scottish guy back in 2022. Not good for the Russian. For Fabio Hayes. Sensational. Even though I think his nickname now is like the Thai Hunter or something like that. Because he's knocked out a lot of Thai fighters all across the place. He knocked out two of them, for Ferrari and Sangmane. Lost to Punk Siri by majority decision, even though he was winning the fight. He was up two rounds. He got dropped, like, sometime in the third. I want to say toward the end of the third round. And that one knockdown was the only reason he lost. It was a, it was a terrible fucking fumble. So now this is his redemption. Uh, fuck, so we can fight... Fun's flow, fucking Jay, kill me. <laughs> Come back to.
to the ring immediately. And we have exactly, hold on. I believe this is our final prelim fight, actually. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six after this. Names including Kong Klai, E.T. T Dead 99, uh, Sang Ming Dam, Dang Run Kai, a guy named Darky. <laughs> Jesus, what type of name you have there? Uh, against a Thai guy named Jack, uh, Nong Champ, even though I don't think he's a champion, against Pitek, and a Moon. Wait. M. Nuyadit against Petlila. Oh, wow. We have a whole promo for this. Fabio from Portugal. And then Vladimir, of course, from Russia. Hmm, so I hear. Oh, yeah. I love this music, by the way. This music sounds like it should be opening. It sounds like promo music you'd hear in a horror film. Like it's some, it's like scary piano music in the background of this. And there's Fabio murdering one of the two Thai fighters. He's murdered in one championship. He has the nickname of the Thai Hunter because I believe, he, like, he knocked out. I want to say fifteen or twenty Thai fighters in a row, mind you. Before he got to one championship, he knocked out like 10 or 15 of them in a row. Like, he was he was murdering TIE fighters on the circuit. And then he made it to one, murdered two of them, including... Oh my god, that was in his debut where he fucking face-planted that guy. I mean, that man kissed the canvas. And he was on his way to winning his last fight until he got knocked down by a TIE fighter and he fumbled the bag because they gave the other guy a unanimous decision like he was losing the whole fucking time. Yo, Jay, I looked up John Fury to see what he was about. And it's just one video of him getting demolished and KO'd. <laughs> That's funny. There's a video out there of him getting knocked out back in the day? Wow. I should have I should have known. He's one of those guys that says he has a bare knuckle gypsy fighting background. It's probably just highlights of him getting schooled. <laughs> that is funny as hell. I didn't even know that was out there. I have to look that up now. Now we got Vladimir walking out. This should be a good one right here. One thing about these cards is uh, I start to notice more and more names every week uh, of fighters that I like recognize and shit. Like some of, like a lot of these names. Really, none of these names I knew when I first started. But now that we're at the end of the year, I can name at least like. 10, maybe 11 that I've seen more than once. Cheers, by the way, everybody. <sighs> Vladimir now being checked out before he enters the arena of combat. And by the way, shout out to everybody. From North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Thank you all for tuning in. Always appreciate your support more than you know. And remember, tonight, we're not done yet, everybody. We're not done today. Remember, tonight, 8 p.m., Amazon Prime. We have a beautiful Prime card, and it's actually not bad, folks. Haggerty Andrade for the kickboxing world title is in the main event. I love that. MMA versus Muay Thai. For a kickboxing world title. A little circusy, but I like it. Ty Rotolo in a grappling contest. The legend, Muay Thai legend, Sex Sand fights tonight. Simsamu with that wild fucking artist hair fights tonight. And I believe also Supergirl on the card as well. And this Ben Tainan guy who's actually a pretty talented wrestler out of Canada. Pretty damn good. That'll be tonight. And then remember, tomorrow morning, speaking of Muay Thai legends, we have Bukau and Sanchai on deck. And then, of course, for kickboxing fans, we almost, we also have Verhoeven and Asardo. After two years away, Rico Verhoeven will be returning to the ring. 
And then, of course, in Brazil, it is Brazil against the world. Jolton Almeida and Derek Lewis will go to battle in that main event. And, of course, thank you, Kiwi there, dropping in a 10 spot. When your wife's been repeatedly raped by the English, Starkey is a proud name, says Kiwi. Thank you for the 10 piece right there. I'd say it's pretty typical. And if anything, he's probably going to have one of the better fights on the card because usually wild names like that end up having some of the better fights we've seen. This guy I have high expectations for because I've always been entertained with Fabio. Vladimir, I mean, hey, he's lost a couple, so it's like the only time I've seen him is in a loss, but even in a loss, found a way to be entertaining. Supergirl always always getting robbed. Andrade probably inflated ego because Francis, I can see that. Uh, 6M made money in six, uh, one fights more he did his whole life, which is wild, man. Goes to show how much Muay Thai really needed one championship to take over and start to get some of these Thai warriors fucking paid. Water buffalo haircut. <laughs> Definitely does. Cheers, by the way, Kiwi. Part one. Cheers, part two. And then part three. There you go, Kiwi. Thank you for the 10 piece. And here we go, folks. Round one out of three. Fabio Hayes and Vladimir Kuzman. They touch gloves, go back to the corner. This is going to be crazy. Olivier Cost overlooking this. Here we go, round one. I guess, uh, I guess Herb doesn't want to fucking, uh, doesn't want to overlook this one. Oh, pff, they got the same color shorts, but at least I can tell who's who. For obvious reasons. That and the fact that Vladimir decided to go with the pink kickboxing socks, almost like it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, even though it isn't. Jabs at the gate there for Fabio. By the way, Skate, thank you for sending me that link. I'm definitely going to check out that one of John Fury after this, uh, after this card. Oh, shit. Good job there, my Fabio. Thank you, Skate. I'll be checking that one out right after this card goes off. Need a little something to watch in between. It's a good jab. Good look. Hey, for Kuzman. Switch the stances. Good hook by Fabio. He just whiffed on it, though. Knee by Fabio. Uppercut by Kuzman. Oh! Kuzman fucking dubs it. What are you doing? This is not MMA. <laughs> Bro dumped him like it was an MMA fight. Why would you do that? Down to two minutes. Down to two minutes now. Kick to the body by Kuzman. Beautiful job by Kuzman. Down to 150 now for Kuzman. Fabio really just waiting on him. He's just being super patient. He's going to wait on him to charge him, make a mistake. Good kick to the body by Kuzman. Good kick to the body and a head kick. Got a very tricky style, does Kuzman. Very tricky. I noticed Fabio is uh, struggling to get the range a little bit. He's settling in a tiny bit, but it's not like usual Fabio fights. Yeah, that fucking low kick from Vladimir just put him on his ass. Not even a knockdown. Ref, what are you doing? That's not a knockdown. I'm about to say, ref looking at him like he's a knockdown. Spinning back kick to the body for Fabio. High kick by Kuzman. Push kick by Kuzman. By Kuzman, right to the face. Chad by Kuzman to the face. Knee just missed. Good hook by Kuzman and Fabio. Push kick by Kuzman right to the face. Oh, spinning hook kick. Beautiful spinning hook kick. Oh, nice jab there by Hayes. Jab and a hook right there. 27 seconds to go. Good hook by Kuzman. Nice high kick. Like spamming the high kicks now. Down to 20 seconds. Good low kicks again for Kuzman. Another one for Kuzman now. Down to 15. Three piece. Oh, whoa. Did fucking Fabio, was he on skates for a second? He looked like he was slipping and sliding. 
Fabio looked like he was on Struggle Street, but he might be all right. I think Kuzman uh, actually won that round right there, though. I think he outstruck him. Definitely outstruck him. A lot more crisp on the combinations. Too much thinking for Fabio. You know what I mean? Too much thinking for Fabio. You know what I'm saying? Fabio was like, do I want to throw a kick? Do I punch him? What do I do here? He was throwing a lot of stuff, but you could tell it didn't have the same conviction behind it like it did in a lot of his fights where in round one he was a little more dominant. I mean, and he even dropped him a couple times. Not legit knockdowns, but like a foot sweep. You know, caught him with a punch, and he just, like, slipped. Like, it, it's, you know, Fabio is, let's just say he's not comfortable right now. Not comfortable. Cheers, family. Whew, here we go, folks. Round two. Good kick. Good look. Okay, right there. Nice little hook there by Fabio. Oh! Fucking Kuzman actually foot sweeped him. I thought he knocked him down. That was just a foot sweep. Down to two, four. Eight, eight, one, two by Fabio. Hook by Fabio. Another straight jab by Fabio. Popping out jabs for Kuzman. He knocked him down. He did, but yeah, they didn't call it. They should have called it, though. Uh, what's going on, Post Reloaded? Good to see you, bro. Hope you're doing well. 2.20 to go. 1-2 for Fabio now. Jab for Kuzman. Another push kick by Kuzman to the face. Switching the stances. Good hook by Kuzman. Back elbow almost there, but Fabio able to catch him. Couple high kicks by Fabio to the body. Ah, oh, Kuzman saying he got hit low. He's saying he got hit low. Down to two minutes. Two piece by Kuzman. Another push kick to the... Ah, Fabio saying he got hit in the eye. What the fuck? Ah, he said he got hit in the eye. Damn. I saw Fabio hold his face, but I didn't know he got hit in the eye. Damn, this is the second time we've seen that uh, on this card alone. Don't think I've seen uh, this many eye pokes on a one card before. Broke man. <laughs> this is well. Oh, he definitely broke him right there, didn't he? Oh, my God. That was beautiful. Got him in the eye. Oh, yeah. That was just unlucky. He tried to kick Fabio in the head and his big toe got in his eye. <laughs> That's fucked up. See, cheers. Eye poke by a feet finger. <laughs> That's a shame, ain't it? Fucking toe got him right in the fucking eyeball. Just kind of poked him right in that bitch. Oh, that sucks. That's unlucky right there. Fabio's like, God damn it. Fabio better start swinging now. Now your vision's a little impaired. Yeah, I don't understand how that wasn't a knockdown. Yeah, that should have been a knockdown. That should have been it. And the referee just, like, looked at him. Man. He didn't even start counting. He's just like, fuck it, keep going. I'm like, what? Okay. Because I remember that. That definitely was a knockdown. And somehow the referee's like, nope, you're good. <laughs> it's, it's so weird. Oh, spamming high kicks again. It's Kuzman. Low kick by Ace. Another low kick by Fabio. Low kick by Kuzman. Popping out that jab. Kind of parrying his jab a little bit. Damn, now straight one of the body. Fabio trying to fire back. Damn, it kicking Fabio ain't that to the side of the head somehow. And he's still walking forward like it didn't happen. And now look at Kuzman still charging forward. A knee and a 1-2. Another kick and a 1-2. Switch stances is uh, Kuzman. Kuzman is getting comfortable now. Fabio is completely shut down. He's at the mercy of this Russian right now. His style, man, it's the style of Kuzman. The, the, the tricky striking, the timing, the accuracy. Bro, this Russian is making Fabio look like an amateur. Fabio can't even land a damn hook on him. Can't even land a hook on him. There they go. Jab by Kuzman. Straight kick of the body by Kuzman. This is just too easy for the Russian, man. Slipping and ripping. Literally tagging him up at the body, hitting him hard. At the oh, I thought fucking Fabio was about to dirty elbow that, that motherfucker in the face. Kick the body. High kick by Kuzman. Ten seconds. Ooh. Back fist almost there by Kuzman. 
blocked by Fabio. Fabio tried to get off a head kick, but it was blocked, unfortunately. And there's the end of the round. This is all Russia right here, folks. And this is our main prelim, everybody. Six more fights after this. It is tie versus tie. Tie versus tie. Tie versus tie. And I believe tie versus tie all the way to the main event. Where Kong Klai faces off against Sanir Sen from Turkey. Usually these main cards, it's a lot of tie on tie violence. Usually the prelims, sometimes the main event is where you're going to find a foreigner fighting either a tie fighter or, in this case, another foreigner. Let's see, this is how I be fighting after that eye poke. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, Flo, I don't know if you saw the Texas Tech game last night, but did you see the size of that fucking possum that, like, ran on the field? Bro, it looks like a fucking dog. Like, I didn't know Lubbock had possums the size of fucking dogs. I know everything's bigger in Texas, but god damn. This, this little motherfucker ran on the football field. They, they had the motherfucker with, like, the, the net and shit to drag it, but I'm like, god damn. In Texas, everything really is bigger. The fucking possums look like full-blown uh, house dogs in that motherfucker. Oh, Fabio dropped it with a hook. What? Ref, how oh, is that not a knockdown? My man literally bounced off the rope. Fabio landed flush, and he bounced off the rope on the floor. Well, actually bounced off the floor, but still. That's wild that wasn't a knockdown, but okay. There's an Ike by Kuzman. Bag elbow by Kuzman out there. <clears throat> Russians performing well lately. They are, bro. Where do they find these Russians at that have, like, such striking skill? It is the craziest shit I've ever seen. One uh, guy in the cut with big eyes, apparently. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my Kuzman's right there on Fabio. And what? Not a knockdown for that. Either ref Kuzman just elbowed him flush and he fell. But all right. This referee wild, man. He not calling shit. <laughs> this ref's like, I don't care about knockdowns. I just want y'all to die. He ain't calling a damn thing. He missed, like, about three knockdowns in this. There's a dad by Kuzman. He wants you dead before he starts counting. He ain't counting shit unless you dead. Oh, my God. Now, that's a slip. That's a slip and a trip. That's a legit slip. It ain't that shit that he missing before. A jab there, low kick by the haste. Ooh, good hook by Kuzman. Another right hand by Kuzman. Fabio walking him down, but oh my god, walks into a jab from Kuzman, man. This is Russian. This is too tricky for him. Fabio can't figure this fucker out. He's getting outstruck at every turn. Let's see. Hell yeah, I was tailgating there, bruh. It was lit. We had Slim Doug before into the parking lot. Oh, shit. Oh, man. So you was out there. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. I was watching that game uh, at home last night. And I saw that big motherfucker hit the field. That looked like a wild game, too. I'm glad y'all held on to win. But that's pretty lit, though. Y'all just got Slim Thug just randomly rolling through in the tailgate and shit. That's lit as hell, man. That is fucking lit. That is the true Texas lifestyle right there. Down to 240. Ref says fight on as these two separate from a momentary clinch. This is going to be all Kuzman right here. Fabio just, he, he just can't figure this man out. He cannot figure this Russian guy out save his life. He's trying his damnness, but this motherfucker is too tricky for him. Kicking him in the body, kicking him in the head. What the fuck? The, re <laughs> the referee if I can interrupt in their clinch. That was so weird. The referee almost got kicked in the leg. Ten seconds to go. Low kick, I gave him Fabio. Kuzman missed with one. Kuzman catches his kick, hits him with a couple more kicks in the ass to let him know who's dominant, and there's the end of the fight. Too easy for the Russian, man. This is a crazy fucking striker. He was on a two-fight losing streak. I wonder how he lost. Like, being on a losing streak for two straight fights with that style? I wonder how. But Fabio just could not figure him out. Maybe the TIE fighters got him figured out, but a guy like Fabio... Doesn't quite have the style to get him. He tried, though. Tried his ass off. Russians in MMA, in UFC, Russians in Muay Thai, 1FC. Russians taking over, man. They are, bro. It's, it's crazy. It is absolutely insane. Oh, my God. By the way, uh, Ismail Bonfim co-main event for the UFC. Three and a half pounds overweight. Holy shit. Hold on. Let me see. 
damn, two and a half pounds over for another Brazilian? One pound over? Three and a half? God! Folks. Folks. I just want y'all to see this shit. Hold on, look at that. Weight miss, right? Hold on, watch this, watch this shit. Weight miss. Dolby. Weight miss, number two. Let's see, keep going, keep going. Weight miss, number three. Weight miss, number four. Holy fuck. <laughs> Vladimir Kuzman, officially the winner. Four Brazilians. No, three Brazilians and one foreigner, it looks like, are overweight. <laughs> Vince Pichel, miss weight. Victor Hugo, miss weight. Eduardo Mora, miss weight. Ishmael Bonfi, miss weight. <laughs> God damn. Uh, Elvis Brenner. Oh, no, never mind. He made it. Barely. Who else missed? Let's see. Catch weight, catch weight. Damn. Four weight misses. Them motherfuckers overweight. You better adjust your parlays now, damn it. You better figure out which fights happen and which ones are not. Because if you got money on that UFC card, they got some They got some big old Brazilians missing weight on that scale. They are tipping the scales in the wrong direction. By the way, Fabio did not win that. Wait, they really gave him that shit. That is hilarious. Wait a minute. By the way, I believe Kuzman won the fight, right? Let me make sure. Because for some reason it said Fabio won, but he did not. Let me make sure. I had to rewind their stream to make sure. Let's see. Yeah, Vladimir did win. Won championship salty over there. Fabio ain't win that. Okay, they fixed it. I was like, why are you giving it to the other guy? Why are you giving it to Fabio? Did I see shit? No, I wasn't seeing shit. But they got it right. 3.5, that cheat, that shouldn't allow him to fight. He should just flip the bird, rolled everyone. Real shit. Real shit. They need to flip the bird. They must have been at the tailgate tech game to have that many MFers miss wave. Real shit. Flow, real shit. You might have seen some of them at the tailgate last night, brother. Four people missing weight. Three and a half pounds, one and a half. Oh my god. Three and a half pounds is wild. That means you were... That means at one point, you realize you're probably gonna die. And then you're like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm done. I'm just gonna take whatever hit I'm gonna take. God damn. It's about to be a shit show out there on, uh, on Bra in Brazil. Someone on YouTube said, this card's low on talent, high on roids. <laughs> The Brazilian taking too much juice. You ain't lying, man. Too much juice. And them motherfuckers are uh, not sticking to any diets out there in Brazil. They on the they on the fucking seafood diet. They seafood and they just eat it. You can't you can't be on no seafood diet when you're training for a fight. Especially at UFC level. You just can't do that. Cheers, my people. By the way, we have had a lit animal room all morning long. I want to thank you all for your support. As always, hold on, let me adjust something here. It's like cut off at the bottom. There we go. Uh, I want to thank you all for hanging out. As always, no idea why that heart's in the corner, but whatever. Uh, and just remember, everybody, tonight we continue on. In exactly nine hours from now, nine hours from now, I will be live again Haggerty Andraj for the Bantamweight Kickboxing one World Championship tonight. And then tomorrow morning, Blue Cow Sanchai in the morning. Afternoon, Rico and Asaro. I believe I'll have like an hour break in between these two cards. So about like an hour break, maybe two hour break. Uh, and then by the time this card's over, I'm probably going to have like maybe 30, 45 minutes to switch over to a new stream. And we're going to do Almeida Lewis out in Brazil. This card full of fat Brazilians up and down. So make sure your parlays are well adjusted before fight time tomorrow. This card sponsored by Popeye Chicken. <laughs>
Oh, man. All full of juice. No one can be asked about weight. And they'll come back to Brazil UFC. <laughs> Seriously. I have Dolby Decision plus 2200. And KO3 plus 6000. No lie. Well, his opponent did... Wait. Hold on. Is this a... Let, let me see which one of the Bond fiends he's... Fu- Okay, he didn't fight. He, he's fighting the one that made weight, I believe. I believe it's Ishmael that missed. Gabriel made it. Ooh, you're gonna be sweating a bit with that Dol- Dol- uh, with that Dolby pick. Uh, so good luck. But it's not a bad spot considering the fact that uh, Bonfim is on a roll right now. Looks brilliant. But at some point he's gonna run into somebody that's gonna give him his first loss and first real lesson in MMA. Dolby has the ability to do it, but Dolby has... Uh, that man's let me down in too many times in the past, so... You're gonna sweat, but it's not a bad pick. You're just gonna sweat. But, you know, if you gamble... Obviously, you gamble regularly, so sweating ain't no big deal. You, you, you'll you be good. It'll just be a bit of a rush for you. By the way, Pet Lila is officially walking to the ring. Uh, um... Wait... Am Noidit. I'll wait for them to pronounce it. Uh, Mora minus 500 on debut. Mora did miss weight, so uh, I wonder what that line's gonna look like now that he uh, came in a bit heavy. I wonder what that'll look like. And now Petlila is in the ring. Annoidit is how they pronounce it, apparently. Annoidit. Let's see. Where is her tape? There's hardly anything. Oh, man. That is a good question. Don't know too much about Mora myself. But knowing how those debuts go when a motherfucker comes in to come in fat for a debut, it usually goes one of two ways. Either someone's going to die or someone's going to be a fat sacrifice. Let's see, one of we... That motherfucker got to go to the restroom. <laughs> oh, shit. No, it's water. Want a wee. That's funny. Want a wee. And motherfucker need to go to the restroom. It's funny. I'm surprised it's not want a wee. Like W-I-I. That way he could be sponsored by the console. But then again, do, are, are wees even in existence still? I'm pretty sure you could find some out there. Cheers, by the way, folks. Woo. Annoyed debt now inside the ring, and he's ready to rock and roll. He's ready to go. Lumpity Stadium crowd giving him a nice, respectable ovation. Check out the tape on late replacement. Uh, Kershuski. Guy's no joke. Bet. I'll check it out. I haven't heard of him, so that'll be that'll be good to have some tape on somebody I don't know that I can check up on. 50 and 20 for Pet Leela. Not a bad record. A rookie in the game by those numbers, but close to the uh, close to the expert level. I feel like once you hit a hundred fights in Muay Thai, you're officially the goat. Well, not a goat, but like you're you're officially a veteran of the game. You're like a rookie if you're like seventy in, like fifty fifteen. Like that's a lot of fights, but once you hit that hundo mark, it's like all right, you're certified OG status. When you're like seventy eighty in, you're not really a rookie. You're like working your way towards it. Let's see, Dolby's no joke, good record. He's got a good record, he's never been finished. Problem is, he's been uh, inconsistent when it comes to winning decisions, and he's unreliable at times. He can beat up on on the lower level talent, but anybody really good can't rely on him for that. The man had a draw with Darren Till, and that alone is something I'll never get over. Good push kick there for Pet Lila. So it's not a bad bet, it's just one of those where you're going to sweat it out of it. It's a good high kick for Pet Leela. I mean, no, it's a, oh, damn. He fucking knocked out Pet Leela right there with a straight jab. That's a knockdown? Really? Wow. I'm surprised by that. Amoida. Oh, the boy that with a big kick. He falls down, but that's not a knockdown. Now, right there by the boy that. 
Amoya that hunting him. Good hook and a jab. High kick for Pentley. But look at Amoya just hunting him down. Now he clinches up with him against the ropes. Ruff with that knee in there. Gonna separate. What in the fuck? They call that a knockdown? That's wild. Good low kick now for Amoida. Pentley looking walk down here. Hook to the body. Now an elbow to the face by Amoida. Amoida, straight jab. Hook to the body. Elbow to the face, Pet Lila. But a straight jab by Amoida. That one fucking stung him for a second. They tie up knee to the body. Oh my god, big elbow for Pet Lila. But they don't call that a knock. Okay, what? Somehow no knockdown on that, but okay. Even though the other, that looked just like the other knockdown. Well, knockdown that they call it. Now the kick to the body, good hook for him with it. Pet standing in there waiting for him. He's been getting beat up in this first round as Pet. He's already been down once. Pet Lila may need to consider a different change of strategy here. Damn, good hook for Amoida. Good elbow for Pep. This is crazy. Pet has no respect for Amoida, and unfortunately, he's paying for it. Damn! That left hook landed clean for Amoida, and that backed up Pet. See? Pet has no respect for him, and he's, he's paying for it. Amoida needs to go ahead and uh, finish this man. There's a good catch of a kick. Uppercut. Elbow. Oh, four piece, and down goes Bentley La! Five, six, seven, eight. Re oh my god, ref. Oh, he wants a murder. I'm waiting, gonna murder him. Oh, hook and a jab. Elbow. Oh, hook again. Ah, missed with the hook. Oh, caught that man with an elbow, and Pet Lila's dead. Pet is dead. He's fucking dead. Pet is not even moving. Oh my god, he's not even moving. That elbow fucking killed him. Oh. Oh. Oh, he caught him with the elbow. Fuck. Oh my god. Bro. He fucking, oh, he knocked him out cold. That looked like a fucking elbow. I need to replay of that because when he threw that, it was off balance. And he somehow landed it. Boom, this Gary. I need to see that again. Let's see. That was the first knockdown earlier. Oh, there it is. Elbow. Oh! Oh! Oh, that elbow was beautiful. That elbow was flawless. Oh, standing 12-6. Damn. Standing elbow to the face thrown like a punch. God damn. And the referee had to fucking dive down and catch his head. Jesus Christ. Shit. That was a murder. A full on murder. Five fights remain, everybody. Five fights remain. Holy hell. That was a murder and a half. We needed that. And he's not even standing there for the decision. He's on his way to the hospital. Annoy Adet sent that man to the hospital. Cheers, everybody. Just see Ross has submitted Dolby just pissed hot. Yeah, and him pissing hot is why he submitted Dolby in the first place. <laughs> Funny enough. He could beat Dolby to some respect to finish him unless you're on the juice. Later animals, work time, stay filthy, catch you later. See you, Gary. Hope you have a good one, bro. We will see you next time. And, of course, next time I'll be live. Uh, I'll be live all weekend. One championship tonight, which begins in about nine hours from now. That'll be the next time I'm live. Uh, if you're not able to catch that, I'll be live early for Bukau Sanchai, uh, Rico, and Sato. And then, of course, Almeida and Lewis. So it's going to be it's gonna be a full day of violence tomorrow. Full day of violence. Oh, they gave him a bonus for that. Wow. I'm surprised by that.
like, yeah, that'll be an interesting one. There's a lot of good fights tomorrow. Like, even on that card alone. You know, Bonfim, Dolby, a surprise cold main event. Now, Cemento and Maze will be interesting. A blue smogger made of and Kayo. I'm surprised they're... I'm surprised they're putting Kayo in the spot, but then again, Abus has, well, he's pretty much a killer there. So if anything, Kayo's gonna have his work cut out for him at least for a round. Black Belt Hunter against Petrosian will be good. Bon and Pichel will be good. Brenner and Krasuski, Zalesk and Renat. Oh yeah, that's the guy that murdered Kevin Lee. Uh, Marcos, Victor Hugo, Vitor Petrino, and Modestus Bukakis. Oh my god, I forgot Angela Hill's on this. Against Denise Gomes. Monserrat somehow found her way on here against Mora. Then, of course, Fernandez and Mark Takasi, of all people, kick this thing off. Curtis Blades is off this card. Uh, let's see, who else is off here? A bunch of other random motherfuckers are off here. David Onoma as well. So not bad. Not a bad lineup for tomorrow in terms of UFC. And up next, we have Nung Champ and Pedic. Let's see what we got. Pedic making his debut against Mr. Nung Champ. Also making the debut. So far, not a bad card. I'm, I'm still pretty excited for tonight. Tonight's pretty much, I'd say, the highlight uh, of all the violence today. This weekend, overall, Blue Cow Sanchez will be alright. It's not one I'm, like, seriously anticipating, but it'll be cool for what it is. UFC is alright. But uh, Rico Verhoeven returning for glory is going to be the highlight of the day for me tomorrow. I'm very much looking forward to that since it'll be a very good fight. He's not going to be fighting a scrub, thank God. Cheers, everybody. I will say, in terms of UFC fight night card lineups, this one tomorrow is actually pretty good. That one's pretty good, and the card in Austin that's in December is going to be fucking stacked up. That one's looking pretty damn good as well, man. It's going to be a good end of the year. Got a whole lot of fights this month. Next month is going to be a wild way to end the year. It's going to be going to be pretty damn good. Right now we got Pedic. Being hold on, let me get the corner colors up there on screen above me. There we go. He looks tiny as shit. This is a catch weight of 112? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's below straw weight. These motherfuckers are teetering on atom weight. They're about 7 pounds above atom weight and about 3 away from straw weight. Damn. Somebody really either really didn't want to make straw weight or really didn't want to make atom weight. Put that there. Nong Chap now walking out. Is that plugged in? Yes, it is. Hold on, let me get that out the way. And there we go, full screen. I bought a box of beer for the weekend, 2 a.m., and I finished it. Oh, shit. What kind of beer was it? Is it is it the IPA? I still got some... It's funny, I still have, like... I have a box of IPAs, actually, in my back room that I still have to finish. I've been I've been hitting the peanut butter whiskey for the past, like, about two, three weeks, so I'll probably switch back to the beer this Saturday, especially since uh, it's going to be a marathon. I don't want to be fucked up too early. I want to I wanna stretch it out a bit, so I'm going to be bringing back the beer tomorrow. It's going to be a good, a, a good time to bring it back. Cheers, everybody. By the way, shout out to everybody, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Shout out to everybody hanging out. Fun weekend ahead. This is, uh, it's funny because the UFC lineups got me lit. 
the Glory lineup, I'm kind of only interested in the main event. There's some good fights on there, but the main event's the only one I'm thinking about. And for BKFC, the only thing I'm thinking about is that main event. But UFC, I see like a good amount of fights up and down that card that I actually like. So, full event of the weekend will be UFC, but main event of the weekend for me is going to be Glory. Cheers, folks. By the way, I do have the bare knuckle stream set for nine, but I might I might have to push it to nine thirty just in case I oversleep since I'm doing the late show tonight uh, with the one card. But I should be able to make it regardless. And some notes on the UFC: they are under a heap of cans. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh hell yeah, man! Hit me up, Kiwi. We'll we'll compare notes, bro. We'll compare notes. Of course, if you have them now, we can go through them now if you're able to find them. Let's see, 50 and 20 for Nong Champ. Cheers, folks. Actually, no, wait, let's hit the bong this time. Here we go, everybody, round number one. Some Antarctica fans watching today? Oh yeah, they're in their ice motels with their um with their frozen Wi-Fi signals checking me out on YouTube somehow. There's like maybe three or four of them. They would type, but their fingers are frozen, so they can't really type anything. But hey, at least I know they're there. <laughs> there we go, round one out the gate. Good hook by Petek and a good eye kick. Both land kicks on each other. Look at Nong Champ now coming back. Yeah, by Nong Champ and a low kick by Nong Champ. Pet take is like fuck this. We're gonna we're gonna make this a dirty one, man. We're gonna I'm gonna walk you down and I'm gonna make this a punishing fight. Already walking down this pet take. Good jab. Fucking Nong Champ firing back even off the back foot. Crazy man. These the, the pace these guys fight at. Jab and a low kick for Nong Champ. Pet take firing back with a two piece. Champ and a jab. Low kick by Champ. One, two by Champ. Petek, good low kick. Excellent low kick. Now Petek is being the aggressor at the moment. Good jab to the body. Elbow to the face now by Pet. Low kick by Pet. He's backing up Nong Champ. Champ, of course, has to fight laterally. I have the back foot. Good three, good three piece there by Petek. 4.2%. <laughs> And it was this week, you can see <laughs> four point two percent. Oh man. Okay, there by Pedic. Excellent jab by Nong. Another one by Champ. Champ with the jab and the low kick combo, but again he's being backed up by Pet here. Kind of a kick and a jab by Nong. Pet straight jab again. Three piece by Pet. Got him up against the ropes. Pet with a four piece. Good elbow by Nong. Low kick by Nong. Pet with another low kick. It just doesn't do it. Yeah, that's true. That definitely ain't enough. Low kick by Pet. And a good hook now by Pet. Low kick by Nong Chup. Pet egg, straight jab to the face. Pet egg, jab and a low kick there. Oh, damn, they tie up. Yeah, <laughs> Ref immediately jumping in like I need to get you motherfuckers apart from each other. They have the female referee doing this too. Oh, good combo. And down goes Nong Chup. But they don't call it a knockdown. They call it a slip. Knee by Pettick and an elbow. Hook by Champ, but a comb but uh, I'm sorry, a counter by Pet. Pet jabbing in the body. Two piece by Pet. Fire it back is Nong Champ. Elbow by Nong, but oh Nong kinda lost his balance after throwing the elbow. Okay by Pet. Pet with about a seven piece. Eight, nine piece. Oh my god. Rocking that damn head around his pet. He's walking, he's he's knocking that damn head around. Jab there by Nong. Elbow by Pet. Ten seconds. Ref getting in there to separate. And there's the end of the round. Let's see. My wife's discussing 24 kids, 7 hours. <laughs> God damn. That's some savage shit right there. I bet she's probably looking at you like, God damn, why so many? But shit, that's savage right there. That's savage life. By the way, I gotta give that. I gotta give that to Pet Man. Way, way more aggressive that round. Way more aggressive. 
I give the the nod to him right now. Cheers, everybody. Hit that one. Damn, that one smacked Nong Champ on the mouth. Ooh, that damn elbow smacked that boy in the mouth. Dropped him like a bad habit. All right, both men off the damn stools. The face of Nong Champ ain't looking like much of a champ. That man face getting knocked around too hard. Jab by Nong. Knee to the body by Nong Champ. Elbow by the champ. Elbow by the champ. Kick to the body by the champ. Look at Pet with the kick of the body and the in the elbow. Step in knee for Nog. Step in knee by Pettick. Oh my god. A tie up immediately. Ref jumps in there. Down at 2.30 to go. Good kick of the body. Good kick of the body again. Hook by Pettick. Elbow by Pettick. Uh, we're cutting a hook by uh, Nong Champ. Knee by Pettick. Knee by the Champ. Elbow by the Champ. Oh, good hook by Nong Champ. Abraka by the Champ. Knee by Pettick. Ref gonna separate. Down to two minutes. High kick. Straight jab now by Pet. Elbow hook by Pet. Elbow by Pet now. High kick by Pet. Hook to the body by Pet. Jab by Champ! And fucking Pet goes down! Fucking went down from one punch! The Champ fucking dropped Pet with one punch! Ow! Pet was battering him! Oh my god! Three, four piece now! Pet can barely stand! Push kick to the face! Uppercut! Uppercut! Oh! Hook the body, now the pet, that's it. That's it. That is it. Fucking hell. Oh, that man hit the ground out of fucking nowhere. What? Oh, man. That was crazy. That motherfucker hit the deck out of nowhere. He was getting his ass whooped. One strike. Pettick was walking him down, beating him up. And fucking out of nowhere gets dropped. Good to see Degenerate Dane in the house. Let's see, I'm impressed Kiwi's is Dane. Jesus, what a beating. Oh my god. It's like he woke up after that one shot. One shot, all of a sudden, dude just wakes up out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Fucking crazy. It's funny. Sometimes I'll see that, but damn. That came out of nowhere. The fuck? And he's standing there for that, to my shock. We have up next one, two, three, four fights remaining. Darky versus Jack. I believe the debut for both. Uh, for Darky, yep, debut for him. For Jack, we've seen him a couple times. Okay, yeah, one and one. Okay, knockout win, decision law. Damn, <laughs> seven events apart. Let's see, one and one. Okay, not bad. Let me fix that. There we go. Oh no, too low. There we go. Oh, no way. Jack's name is cut off now. Center that. There we are. Ah, there's that translator who got that uh, fucking tie money bonus last week who, who literally reacted like he had just earned $10 million. Beautiful. Let's refill this. Oh, they're going to give him a bonus, aren't they? Yep. 
350,000 buy. That's only the second bonus I've seen on here. Damn. They're being, hey, they were they were a bonus happy last time. Gave one to the translator, so they gotta they gotta cut down on some cards. Oh shit! Good to see you, Vietnamese style. Hope you do well, my guy. Let's get it indeed. Remember, my dude. Begin it all day with this. We have one, two, three, four fights remaining, and then in eight hours forty six minutes, we're doing Haggerty and Andras on Amazon Prime tomorrow morning. 9 a.m., not during the prelims. I'll be, like, out of bed, just getting out of bed at that hour, because I'll be, uh, trust me, I'm going to be knocked out sleep as soon as this card's done, because i got to wake up bright and early to do Bukau Sanchai. And then in the afternoon, we have the return of Rico Verho and Rosto de Casaro. And then in the nightcap of the weekend, we have UFC Sao Paulo, a.k.a. UFC Brazil, headlined by Jolton Almeida and Derek Lewis. It's going to be a lit Weekend around here, ladies and gentlemen, so make sure your notifications are on. And make sure you share every single link that is put out there, because I have more than one. It ain't going to be no marathon shit. All of it's going to be broken up tomorrow, since they're all happening at, like, different times and shit. And, of course, there's a little promo for the night. The first commercial I've actually seen during this card for Haggerty Andraj. And, of course, Rotolo versus a random Russian. See, oh, hell yeah, hell yeah, man. It's, it's, it's going to be great around here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Cheers, family. Let's put some more in here. Now, up next is a catchweight fight at 138. I thought it said 128 at first, but 138. Between Darky and Jack. Both, I believe, are making their... No, Jack is 101. Darky's making his debut. Let's see, put that there. Cheers, folks. Jack walking out first. Hey, he's walking out with the tiger mask. You see, Dane says, Darky. Yep, that is his Muay Thai name. And he's doing the whole prayer. Got the head. What kind of headband is that? Looks like he's like about to play basketball or something. It's not the traditional one you normally see. Not a bad gym shirt there for Jack. Let's see. Even damn, even the corners got the Kango. At least they're all wearing the same shirt. The forty ten hour usually equate to me being naked somewhere. I shouldn't says Kiwi. That yeah, sounds about right. Jack being checked out. I believe this is at 138. They both, actually, I believe the size goes to Jack. Let me see. 5'6", 170. Uh, for a darky, it is 5'8". Oh, no, so it actually goes to him. But then again, uh, their stats have been off all night because there were a couple fights where they claimed both guys were the same height and they were not. So we'll actually have to wait until they face off. But allegedly, Darky has the size advantage here, but I don't even think that'll mean much. Usually, once you see the record, you pretty much know where this is going to go. Darky officially introduced now. Hell of a shirt. That is like, what is that, supposed to be like turquoise or something? It's like turquoise with red stripes in it. Or like Aqua or something. And I believe that is <laughs> that is his own face. At least he has his own face on it. I'm shocked more Muay Thai fighters don't have that. Wow. And the, the whole ensemble at the corner is hilarious. A long random sweatshirt for the main trainer. The other guy's got on a Hawaiian shirt. He looks like he, he's fresh off of a vacation or something. I guess Darky either took the fight last minute or the trainer just always wears that shit. 
That man was probably on vacation when he got the call. He's like, ah, oh, fuck, I gotta cut it short. Eh, but at least you can just go to the beach out there in Thailand right after the fight's over. Darky, wait, what the fuck? Why are they wiping him off? Uh, okay, that was a little weird. Did somebody dump water on him? Did he have grease on him? Why, they, they gave that man a whole wipe down before they even inspected him. Why? Never seen that uh, on this series. Huge schnoz on the guy giving him face grease right there. I love how they literally, like, wiped that guy down with a towel. I guess he, did he probably grease himself? Even though I really didn't need to do that since it's not an MMA fight. Of course, says his prayer and now enters the ring. And now we get our 138-pound scrap. And by the way, this is, of course, Starkey's debut, whereas Jack has already been in the ring twice. And here we go first. Jack out of Sid Jack Muay Thai, even though it just says Jack Muay Thai Jim. 53 and 21, 74 fights in total. This is too late, be back. Oh, I'll see you later, Nas. Have a good one, bro. I'll be live in exactly uh, 8 hours, 8 hours and 40 minutes for one fight night uh, 16 tonight. 150 and 50 for Darkie. So 150, 150 wins out of 200 total fights. Yeah, that is full on veteran status right there. Crazy contrast in records for these two. This man's fought 200 times, and he's now making it to one championship out of nowhere. They touch gloves, and there we go. There we go, Darky and Jack. Round one. High K by a dark kid. Good high K by Jack. Oh, good jab now by Jack. Low K by Jack. Good kick by Jack. Good high kick by Darky. Uppercut jab by Jack. High kick by Darky. Not there. Now push kick to the body. Low kick by Jack. Hook it up. Oh, good body kick. That phone and up Darky and he's done. That body kick to the liver was fucking beautiful. Beautiful. Jeez. 200 fights and it didn't matter. One kick to the body and that's it. Oh my god. Everybody's getting knocked out on this card. I love it. Everybody's getting fucked up on the main card. I love this shit. Look at that. Full on folded him like a suitcase with a body kick. I love that. Quick fight, quick finish. That's what we needed. Oh. Oh. Beautiful liver kick. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Oh. Oh, my God. That liver kick shut him down. Nah, shut him down. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Absolutely shut that man down. Yeah, he wasn't getting up. I don't even know why you count after that. Let's see. That don't happen a lot of one. People go for a punch. Much, much more. Absolutely. Oh, shit. Kiwi dropping in a 10 spot out of nowhere. Says, cheers, Shay. I'm a lightweight. No more beer. 2.20 a.m. I have to get the kid to training at 8 a.m. I got to uh, lie down. Hey, do your thing, Kiwi. Thank you so much, man, for the 10-piece. Thank you for your support, as always. I owe you a three-piece after that one. By the way, that wild tiger mask of Jack is terrifying, but the fucking crazy shit. Thank you again, by the way, Kiwi. This one's for you, bro. Part one, part two.
and then number three. Thank you, Kiwi. Beautiful. Big time win right there by Jack over Darkie. See, now that looked like he got hit with a baseball bat. It did, bro. That's what I love about it. I love a good kick to the liver. Especially like like Fasara says, when you it sounds like, well, that even sounds, but it looks like he got hit with a fucking baseball bat. I love to see that. Beautiful on the liver. Usually a lot of these guys can handle them, but fucking Darkie can handle that shit. One kick to the liver and it shut him down, man. I wonder how many fights uh, Darkie was hitting the liver like that, and he just ate it and kept fighting. I bet it probably was at least 70 of them damn 200 fights he'd been in. But today, it just won the day. On the big stage, that boy body shut down. Oh my god, nasty body kick, says Michael Panza. Good to see you, by the way, Michael Panza, but you're right, bro. Nasty fucking body kick, man. Absolutely nasty fucking borderline filthy right there. That was a beautiful fucking win. That was one of the better knockouts we've seen on this card. That's actually three in a row now. Round one knockout for Jack. We got a round two knockout for Nong Champ. Round one for Mr. Anoida. And that's three in a row. That's after we had a lot of decisions with only, let's see, only two TKOs. One on the MMA fight that opened the whole thing. And then one on one of the other earlier uh, Muay Thai battles. Everything else decision. And we had, I believe, one, two decisions in a row. And now we have three knockouts in a row. I love it. Three knockouts in a row is beautiful. And just what we need. And we only have three fights left, everybody. Oh, shit. What's going on, Weedy Gonzalez? Good to see you, amigo. I hope you are doing well, my guy. We have three fights left. Sing Madame, Dan Kai, E.T., T.D. 99, Monk Cow, and then, of course, Kung Klai and Sonar Sin. Beautiful shit. Only three fights remain. Cheers, everybody. So that's the second bonus Jack has received since joining one. That means that man's life was probably set. And his family's got to be set, at least in terms of time money. And that fucking bonus, that 350k bot, that's going to go a long way out there in Thailand. There was the hook and the... Oh! Made the liver quiver, man. Beautiful. Shin the liver. It's just textbook. It's simple yet effective. Oh, man. And like Fatara says, it was like he got hit with a baseball bat because he went down in a hurry. He's like, oh, my God. As soon as he went down, it was like it was like Ryan Garcia when he gets hit with a body shot. Or it was like that one week on one Friday fights where, like, I want to say, like, six people got hit with body shot knockouts in a row. When you get hit on the liver, you are finished. Even if you want to fight on, your body will not allow you. That that off button's been hit. And once that off button been hit, it's going to take a while for that thing to cut back on. It's like your body and your organs have to reboot after that. It's like you hit the restart button on the laptop or something. You got to let that motherfucker uh, reboot itself. Crazy shit. We still got three more bangers to go. And then remember, folks, tonight in exactly eight and a half hours, it's going to be one fight night, 15, Haggerty and Andrade for the Bantamweight Kickboxing World Championship. And then tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., even though it might be more like 9.30, depending on what time I get up, if I can get up early enough, because I'm going to be up late doing this card. So we'll see what time I get up early. But one thing's for sure... I will be up when Bukow and Sanchai scrap. And then, of course, we're going to do the main card of Glory Collision 6, headlined by Rico Verhoeven and Tariq Asaro. Main card is at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I know that says Central, but it's 2... No, I'm sorry, 1.30. My bad, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Normally it's 2, but they're going on an hour earlier. I think because they have multiple title fights, which is why they're going on an hour earlier. I mean, like, half hour earlier. And then after that... We move on to the UFC, UFC Sao Paulo. Main event is, of course, Jolton Almeida, Derek Lewis. That begins at 
6 p.m. my time. So literally when glory is over, we're going right into the UFC uh, for the nightcap tomorrow. So all day tomorrow we're going to have fights. Fight in the morning, fight in the afternoon, fight at night. Good to see you, Dark Side Story. I'm from Thailand. Shout out to you, Dark Side Story. Hope you're doing well, my guy. Hope you are doing well. Good to see another Thai representative here. We have a lot of Thai representatives here. I like that. I made 300,000 body years of bonus. They pay cheap here. Not sorry. I like that. I like that right there, brother. I like that shit. Let's see. Yeah, top of the burning. Hey, Sparks. Good to see you, Sparks. Been a little bit, Braza. Great to see you, my guy. Fights left. Oh, we got only three left, brother. We got three. These top three right now on YouTube. And then, my brother, eight hours, eight and a half from now, we're going to do the one fight night card with Haggerty and Andrade at the top of the fucking bill. That'll be in eight hours from now, so you got a lot of time. But yep, only three left. Only three scraps left on this lineup. Good to see the OG stop by. Uh, I believe he can't train it. I always fold it, says Kiwi. I, I believe in that too, bro. You can't train it. Once you get hit in the liver, like you said, you can't train for it. You could do all the sit-ups in the world, but once you get hit perfectly on the liver, it's game over. I'm, I'm right there with you. I always fold it too. I've been folded by, like, like hooks to the liver, punches to the liver, kicks to the liver, and I folded people up with them same shots, so I'm right there with you. Knee to the liver is the worst. When you get kneed and, like, right on the, oh my god, that is the worst shit ever. Hitting the body sucks in general, but a knee to the liver is, that is, like, excruciating pain. Like, you feel like you are going to die, uh, and you're, like, struggling for fucking air. I bank 85G legally. <laughs> Hell yeah, street legal. Gotta love that street legal money. Dang, crank guys, sang ming, sang ming dong. Let's see, we've seen this brother before. Yes, we have. Two and one, not bad at all. Split. Split. Couple wins by split. And then lost a unanimous decision, got his ass whipped. Okay, so my man needs a... He He's durable, but he, he needs himself a KO win. Sang Ming Dom. Let's see, knockout... And decision. Okay, not bad. 2-0 and knockout decision. At least he has a finish, unlike the other guy. Other dude, little bit of a struggle. But it's all good. Uh, let's see. We've seen E.T. before, too. Yes, we have. E.T., that's right. The homie. We've seen him a good amount of times. Where is he at right now? 1-1, one and one. yep, a knockout over April Watt, and he lost to Kong Thorny by majority. Wow, so somebody rooted a draw. He hasn't fought for one since one Friday fight 16. We're in one Friday fights 39, so he hasn't fought for one in 23 Fridays. Damn. 23 weeks we haven't seen him. Wait, why is Sam Ming Dan wearing a Black Panther mask? He stole Black Panther's gimmick. <laughs> What the fuck? He's wearing a Black Panther mask. I thought only Black Panther does that. <laughs> Why is he wearing that? That is so ra <laughs> That is so random. Wow. So random. Let's see, goddamn it. Bonfim Pichelle's off. As well as Hugo Marco's weight misses. Yep. I was talking about it earlier. Uh, four weight misses, and I believe two of the fights are off. That's crazy. One of them was like three and a half or some shit like that. I think with the bomb theme fight. Uh, no, not that one. It was another one that was three and a half. Pichel, I know, missed weight. And then the other bomb theme brother missed against Dolby, but that one's still happening. But damn, they canceled bomb theme Pichel as well as Hugo and Marcus. God damn. So that means the card tomorrow... The start time is different now. So let's see. They canceled Ishmael Bomfim and Vince Pichel. And then Hugo and Marcos is off. So damn. The main card opener and a prelim are off. So now it's 11 fight. Oh yeah, they're going to push the start time. 
Well, that's good news for me because now I get more of a break in between Rico and Asaro. All right. Damn, that's going to suck. A little bit of a short UFC card, but at least the timing will be right for me. The Batman Mad is my favorite so far. Oh, man. Batman was hilarious. Sang Min Da, Mean Black Panther. It very sick. Oh! Okay. okay. So that actually means Black Panther. So basically, the other guy's like, you know what? Since you called yourself Black Panther, I'm going to call myself Sang Min Da. Wow, okay. So that's how he got around it. I wonder if they're in the same weight class. That means him and Black Panther have to fight for the right to have the gimmick now, right? You got to have Black Panther versus Black Panther. Black Panther, Sing Madame, winner, winner claims the character type shit. <laughs> then again, it depends on what weight classes they are, but that's that's wild. I did not know that. That's new. It's like Lucha Libre or some shit. 60 and 31 for Sing Madame. Speaking of which, let's see. How do you say Batman? That is a great question. Sang Madame officially introduced. Here we go, folks. After this is the co-main event. Three fights in total. After this, it'll be co-main event, main event. And people are getting knocked out at a fast rate. I love to see it. There we go. Round one. We need more time murder. The more time murder that takes place here, the better. High kick, Sang Madame out of the gate. One, two, Sang Madame. One, two, Dang Kring Kai. Dang Kring Kai. Oh, he's an elbow over Sang Madame. Good. One, two, for Sang Madame. Jab for Sang Madame. Low kick, then Krinkai. Nice kick for Sang Madame. Good kick, Sang Madame. Ooh, good. Look, counter left hand, and they tie up. Ooh, good. High kick there. Jab, kick by Sang Madame. They reset back in the middle. Good elbow and a hook for Dinker Kai. They tie up and the ref gonna separate. And reset. Jab Dinker and Kai. Oh, jab hook Dinker and Kai. Sang Madame, beautiful knee to the body. Elbow for Dinker and Kai and for Sang Madame. Uh, it was right X from behind while doing uh, sit ups that finished me. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. That'll do it right there. That'll do it every time. Beautiful elbow there by Dang Green Gum. Dang Green Kai, excuse me. Sang Madame catches a kick. A beautiful elbow to the face. They tie up. Ref separates him immediately. One thirteen to go now. But you're right, though. Doing some fucking right hooks while you're doing sit-ups. Oh, my God. That'll kill you. One oh five to go. Low kick for Dinker Kai and knee for Sang Madame. Damn, another jab for Dinker Kai. Spent about three of them. Good hook for us. Oh my god. Rock and Soccer Robots by both. Sang and Dinker Kai are just going at it. Sang Madame is just like, fuck it. I'm going for broke. I'm going for broke here. Dinker Kai, low kick. Straight jab by Sang Madame. And him and Dinker Kai tie up. Both land knees to the body. Good fucking wild swing and knee right there by Sang Madame. About 23 seconds ago. High kick now by Dankren Kai. Had a nice one two behind it. Damn, good left by Dankren Kai. Another left. They tie up. Both land knees on each other. 10 seconds. Ooh, stepping elbow. Look like they almost clashed heads right there, but they're okay. And there's the end of the row. Not bad. Not bad at all. Cheers, friends and family.
Good shit. Good shit. I tell you all what, man. It's been a it's been a wild wild year of just Muay Thai all together. And I think One's Muay Thai is probably going to be the most popular brand, I would say, by next year. Probably already is now the most popular one of Muay Thai. But by next year, they're going to have this shit on lock. Thai, Thai Fight League is the only Muay Thai promotion, in my opinion, that I think can compete with this. By the way, I got to do one of their cards, even though their commercial breaks are long as shit. Uh, let's see, a lever shot feels like a bad stomach ache with a razor just slicing at your work. It's for a few seconds. <laughs> well, that is a perfect way to describe it. Absolutely perfect way to do it. Especially like a, like a uppercut to the body, knee to the body, shin to the body. It, uh, it's fucking excruciating. But yeah, like, it, it's crazy because, you know, this brand of Muay Thai, it's slowly becoming, like, actually popular like people in the states and outside the states actually watch this shit and if they don't watch it live they do watch the replays because if you think about it if you're gonna market muay thai to fight fans in the united states or at least those outside of thailand uh you need two things number one you need to have as small gloves as possible of not bare knuckle and number two you bet they better fight from round one that traditional you know, slow in round one, medium paced round two, round three go all out. That ain't gonna work. Motherfuckers are gonna be in the bathroom round one, round two. They might care. Round three, it'll get crazy. You need to make sure they fight from the onset if you truly want to market this worldwide. The bag of the UFC tomorrow, it'll be it'll melt through the place. <laughs> that many Brazilians are pissing on the same place. How about that? A lot of juice and a lot of a lot of neglecting of diets out there in Brazil. A lot of seafood diets for them motherfuckers. They're just seeing food and they're just eating it and devouring it at alarming rates. We are down to a minute twenty-five. God, look at the hooks. One after one after one. Sang Madame. And then a three, four, five piece. Uppercut now by Tanker Guy. Jab by Danker Guy. Elbow now by Danker Guy. Eye kick misses. Beautiful elbow, Sang Madame. Thank her guy with a six piece is all punches. Tying up with him. Oh. The referee now gets separated. I thought he was gonna go for elbow there, but he didn't quite land it. Step and elbow Sangmadam. Elbow Danker Kai. Four piece Danker Kai. Jab by Sangmadam. Elbow Danker Kai. Elbows there for Sangmadam. Four piece for Danker Kai. Hook for Danker Kai. Almost lands. They tie up. Throw in a nice little knee. Ref separates him immediately. There we go to hug for Danker Kai. Jab for Danker Kai. Elbow for Danker Kai is there. Knee for Sam Madame. 25 seconds. Ooh, back elbow is off the mark for Danker Kai 20 seconds ago. Kick to the body by Sam Madame. Good hook now by Sam Madame. Ten seconds to go. The referee going to try to jump in there and really get him apart. And good kick to the body. Tie up and go to hell. There's the end of the round. What the fuck? Did the referee try to go down with him to catch him? Goodness gracious. Uh, let's see. Uh, L.O. Uh, let's see, LOL, they just said Dylan Danis and talk Simon in the UFC, how many fights we give Dylan in the UFC for they cut him? Zero, because in order to fight, you gotta show up, and when it comes to a real fight, he ain't gonna be there. He'll show up to box a YouTuber and do nothing, but he ain't gonna show up for a real fight, we know that. So, mine is zero. Don't give him any shot. Not even gonna have a debut. By the way, that round, easily one of the best I'd say of this fight, kind of way better, I'd say better than round one. Round one was okay, but this one really picked it up. Dankren Kai, slightly, slightly ahead. Sang Madame spent a little more time on the back foot. So I gotta give slight as to Dankren Kai. Here we go, though, folks. Final round. Got high kick, Sang Madame. Hook, Sang Madame. Danker Kai firing back with a two piece. Both clinch up. One, two, Danker and Kai. Hook for Sang Madame. Three, four, five for Sang Madame. Look at Danker Kai firing back. El oh my god, Rock'em Sock'em Robots. This beautiful shit. Now they tie up. Good knee to the body, knee to the face. 
235. Oh, good elbow there for Sang Madame. Good knee for Dan Krakai. And knee for both. Let's see. I can see him fighting a bum on a Connor car, get smoke, getting cut. I can see him backing out of that fight and getting cut before he even has a debut. Uh, Funs flow of wrestler can slam you sucks. I've been slammed where you feel sharp pain from your lower back to the top at the same time, knocking down, knocking out your air from landing hard on your back. That is true. When you get the wind knocked out of you, that is the fucking worst. When you get the wind knocked out of you and you fuck up your back all in one slam, and even your neck in some cases, like a Kurt Angle, that is the, the fucking worst. This is absolutely nuts. Oh my god, go to the body of the head with it. All these guys have a stronger body than the man that Jack just knocked out. Good knee there by the ref. The ref getting his fucking knee just to separate these two, even though these two are going absolutely insane. Both landing elbows. Hooked by Dankra Kai and by Sang Midal. Ref tells him it's up. Uh, gotta separate. He's fucking struggling to get these two apart. Dankra Kai trying to chase him down. You get Sang Madame in the corner. Outstanding. Welcome back, Granted. Hope you're doing well, bro. Good to see you. Good hook there by Sang Madame. Knee by Dankra Kai. Both lay on each other. The ref gonna separate them. Down to one minute. Kick to the body. Three piece by Sang by, uh, Madame. Knee for Sang Madame is there. They're gonna separate. Down to 50. Oh my god, that <laughs> fucking flying knee right there was Sam. He was way off the mark, but it looked nice. Looked like it could have done something, but it didn't do shit. Now they hug up and they throw knees. Kurt's neck is destroyed like that. Absolutely. Man, won a broken medal with that destroyed neck, which I still don't know how he managed to do that. Science and medicine's a wild thing. 30 seconds of gear. Saying, come on now, good to see you too, J Animals. Absolutely, man. Good to have you around, brother. Hope everything's good your way. About 18 seconds to go. After this is co main event. I think Danker and Kai might have done enough to win this shit. We got E.T. against Monk Cal right after this. 10 seconds, and then after this is our main event. Well, after that fight, I should say, is our main event, Kung Klai and Sonor Sen. So there is the end of the fight between Sang Madame, Danker, and Kai. We're going to find out who wins in a minute. Cheers, everybody. Oh, no, that one's a little weak. Way better. Beautiful. In the Battle of Thailand versus Thailand. I think the blue corner took it. These are the two combatants that just fought, of course, right by my head. Let's see who gets the shit. After three rounds of battle, what do the judges rule it? All three judges have ruled it by unanimous decision. Kind of wild. Oh, Samming Dumb, a.k.a. Black Panther with the win. Oh, shit. They done gave that shit to Black Panther, boy. Oh, damn. By the way, shout out, of course, once again, everybody from North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. I see all of you, and I think... All of you for being here, and remember, folks, we have two more fights left on this card, and then tonight we get into the real crazy shit. We get into the real crazy shit of the weekend. We have two fights left on this card. Then, in exactly eight hours, everybody, eight hours, 12 minutes from right now, we have a beautiful card on Prime. Haggerty and Andrade for the Kickboxing World Title. Folks, this is a banger. You do not want to miss this. A Muay Thai fighter and an MMA fighter are going to battle for a Kickboxing World Title. A little weird, but it's going to be wild. Sex and Muay Thai legend competes tonight. Tai Rotolo defends his Grappling World Title. Uh, let's see. Simsamut 
Also a Muay Thai striker. Going to be on Prime tonight. Let's see who else. A strawweight kickboxing fight. Oh, my God. That fucking blonde hair on that dude. Uh, let's see. Anybody else? Oh, Supergirl has a kickboxing fight as well. So a good amount of fights tonight. Good amount of fights tonight. And, of course, that'll be all happening in about eight hours. And then remember, tomorrow morning, Bukau Sanchai, the ultimate battle of legends for BKFC in a bare-knuckle Muay Thai battle. Then we have the return of Rico Verhoeven after having been away for two years. Two years. We finally get to see him come back. And now, folks, we get the UFC card, but we have two fights off due to weight misses. Ishmael Bonfim is no longer fighting Vince Pichel, and Daniel Marcos no longer fighting Victor Hugo, so the card has now been shortened from 13 fights to 11, which means a later start time, but that just means more time to rest from the end of glory to beginning of the UFC, so I'll update you guys on that, but that'll be our lineup. UFC, Glory, BKFC, and not one but two, one championship cards, five in total. See how it is fucking go. Still not over Antarctica. Do we have a thing? Uh, do we have the thing? Watch with us. I think they do. I think they have like a ice TV as well. They have like a, they have like a frozen like big screen, either like a frozen big screen or probably like a laptop that might be frozen with that Wi-Fi connection. And somehow, some way, they have found us. I don't know how these Eskimos have done it, but damn it, they've done it. <laughs> They have found a way. I didn't even know they had technology like that out there in Antarctica. It's the craziest shit ever. You would think all their signals would be too frozen to even do anything, and yet somehow they have tracked us all down. Then again, they might have connections to E.T., who, funny enough, is about to fight. I wonder if uh, he knows the alien, or maybe the same aliens that gave uh, the Antarctica people technology. Cheers, folks. See, weatherproof smart TVs. <laughs> Hell yeah, they still got the plastic on that motherfucker. When they when they buy the TV, they got to keep the plastic on it or else it'll overfreeze. <laughs> Either that or they got to keep it in whatever case they have it preserved in. Uh, damn, I thought that was Rod Tang for a second. No, it is not. I mean, John Carpenter, the famous. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It, hey. It's funny because I I never I never knew Eskimos actually could get a Wi-Fi signal out in the cold, but somehow they found a way to do it. It's like in Brazil, they have like updated things in Brazil. Even though like if you go see most of their stadiums, it looks like a, it looks like somebody just took a shit all over the field. Uh, they got connections, north south poles. Ask them, hell yeah, ask uh, ask Saint Nick if you can find them. Either him or one of the reindeer. Only reason why Rudolph's uh, nose is red is because he loves his cocaine in between the seasons. And funny enough, uh, by the way, they just said Sex Sand uh, is making his official one championship debut tomorrow. I knew he was on the cards, but I didn't realize they didn't sign him until recently. So, okay, that's right. This last fight, he did get signed. That's right. So, okay, he'll be making his official debut tonight. Okay, well, that just made that card more interesting for me. Sex and probably kill that guy. At least there's two Muay Thai battles and two kickboxing battles on the card. The rest of it is MMA and, like, one grappling match. I can live with it, but it's like, eh. We need more kickboxing and Muay Thai on these prime cards to really sell it to the people. Oh, shit. Monko Gal. We have seen, I believe, both of these men before. Results above my dome. Let's see. Chorfa. Oh, that's right. Chorfa knocked him out. Damn, that's kind of sad. And that was recent. One Friday fight, 31. Damn. Well, I guess you I, you probably would need more time to recover from that, but okay. Uh, Son Rocky beat. And uh, Pechmung Suri lost to so, Mungle Cow needs to uh, get his shit together. He lost to a T-Dead 99 fighter in his debut. 
So that means uh, ET's got to keep the trend up. Got to make sure another T-Dead fighter uh, takes him out. Uh, let's see. For Mr. ET, knocked out Abel Wadden in his debut. Lost his last fight by majority decision. One Friday, fight 16. Damn, we haven't seen him in 23 cards. But at least ET is back. Uh, well, then what happened with one of them, Jay? They're usually in shape. Uh, well, didn't come in shape is what happened. It looked like. Just just didn't come in shape. Not sure why he came in heavy. And it's crazy because, like, I think three Brazilian fighters came in heavy. The only one, the only non-Brazilian fighter that missed weight was Vince Pichel. But, uh, yeah. Bonfim just didn't come prepared this time. Came in way too heavy. Uh, let's see. Do you ever hear more awesome nickname than the man who yielded no one? Honestly, no. I think that might be my favorite one, Fatada. <laughs> The male net yields to no one. That's badass as shit. That's like he's fucking the Undertaker of Muay Thai or something. I like it. Uh, E.T. gonna do this one for Elliot. <laughs> he says, we need it. <laughs> oh, he's gonna do this one for Elliot. I love that reference. I love that. I love it. Oh, this is gonna be a good co-main right here. This is going to be a good one. E.T. is always fun to watch. Same as Uncle Cal, but man. This is going to be something. Cheers, everybody. And this is going to be a guaranteed war because... Monko Cal wants to get his revenge against a T-Dead 99 fighter, and E.T., of course, wants to see where he measures up in one championship, because I imagine at 130, is he like a flyweight or is he a bantamweight? That's what I got to figure out. I watched it on Blu-ray, not that old. <laughs> hey, I'm with you for thought. I still got my Blu-ray player. I ain't even joking. 151 and 40 from Monko Cal. Damn, that is a crazy record. I still played my Blu-rays on my PlayStation here and there. My PlayStation slash Blu-ray player. <laughs> Let's see, 31. Yeah, see, that's like my age. I'm 32, so I'm like, same era. Same era. Only one year. Up on 81.39 for E.T. Not bad for E.T. That's still uh, well over 100 fights. 81.39, that's like, uh... Yeah, like 110 fights. Well, yeah, yeah, just about. So, yeah, at least it's over 100. Here we go, though. Olivier Cost, and then, of course, the New Zealand and UK judges. One UK judge, two New Zealand or Australian. I, I'm going to assume that is Australia. Here we go. <laughs> Round one. Call main event. Banco Cal and E.T. T did 99. Looking Mungo Cal. E.T. kick to the body. Nice leaping tiger knee there by E.T. Low kick Mongol Cow. Jab by Mongol Cow. Mongol Cow slow stalking. Low kick. Beautiful low kick there by Mongol Cow. Another one for Mongol Cow. I know E.T.'s thinking about something. E.T. nice high kick to the body. Low kick for E.T. Low kick, Mungo Cow. Push kick for E.T. Like a teep to the body there. Low kick for E.T. Low kick, Mungo Cow. Good job, E.T. And a fucking teep to the body. To match that. Oh, thought about an elbow there, but nope. But a good low kick there for Mungo Cow. High kick for Uncle Cow and a one two for uh Uncle Cow. E. T. thinking about a kick, didn't commit to it. And fully commit. E. T. standing there, kick to the body now by E. T. but a low kick. Counter from Uncle Cow. Nice high kick now by Uncle Cow. I'm surprised the referee isn't urging them to be a little more active. They're being uh, very accurate here and taking their time as they throw these strikes though. There was a knee by E.T. that was caught and countered with a low kick by Mungo Cow. 
Okay, yeah, now he's being vocal. I can hear Olivier Cost now. He's being vocal. He's like, okay, pick it up a little bit. Kick to the body, caught by E.T. E.T. with an elbow. Pushed him to the ground as well. Uh, did E.T. Did that to Mungo Cal. And they get right back up and reset. E.T. slow stalking Mungo Cal. Mungo Cal, nice low kick. Kick to the body by E.T. to counter. Another kick to the body by E.T. to counter. And now a kick by Mungo Cal is there. Who's the extraterrestrial? It says Fun's Flow. Uh, that would be Red Corner there. I believe the black shorts with the silver uh, lining there is the is the extraterrestrial. Kind of looks like it, too. I ain't even going to lie. This dude. Yeah. Kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like it a little bit. He does look like maybe he's a cousin. Maybe not a brother, but definitely a direct cousin. Fucking reptilian. Hell yeah, he's got that in him. He's got that in him. High gigs from Mungle Cow. He definitely looks like a descendant of the E.T. family. Even even with the head of hair. That face is everything. End of the row. It's funny because in the fight, he actually has a haircut. In that photo, he has like a full head of hair. He has like a haircut here, but even so... Uh, definitely looks like an extraterrestrial. Like, he's definitely related to the real E.T., no doubt about that. He's like the human version, I guess. Not gonna lie, though, not a bad round for him, even though Uncle Cal countered the fuck out of him. Caught a lot of his kicks, chopped out his fucking leg, basically made him look like a, look, made him look like a bitch for a little bit. Even though E.T. got, you know, a couple strikes in here and there. It was mainly Monk Lacal kicking him in the body. Catching a lot of his kicks, being like, bro, that shit ain't gonna work with me. A lot of that shit going on. Here we go, folks. Round number two. <laughs> Olivier, come on, start the round, damn it. There we go. This is co main event, everybody. After this is the main event. High kick, E.T., low kick, Mungo Cow. I see his style is out of this world. <laughs> the human versus his weed. It's like if E.T. wanted to disguise himself as a human, like put on a human skin suit and disguise, it would look like this guy pretty much. Oh, my God. Good job by E.T. Ah! E.T. fucking wobbled him. He had him staggering. He had Monkle Cow staggering. That fucker lost his balance after that straight jab landed. Oh, shit. E.T. almost knocked him out. He almost put him on his ass right there. Monkle Cow is lucky that Olivier stepped in there uh, to say some words to both of them. Damn, jab and a low for E.T. Yeah, E.T.'s getting more confident now. He's getting more confident now. He's looking to uh, send Monkle Cow out of this world. He's getting way more confident. Mungle Cow don't want to throw all of a sudden. There's a kick to the body by E.T. Kick caught by E.T. Jab and a kick to the body. All of a sudden, Mungle Cow is uh, being tentative here. He's throwing it. Oh, shit. Kick to the body. Kick to the body. Good jab now by Mungle Cow. But, of course, E.T. there to just straight counter him jab to the face. French is on hot boxing, just in case you want to see what his plans are. Oh shit, I gotta check that out. Thank you for the update, by the way, for the heads up on that. I definitely gotta see what's next for him, even though I, I think we might know what direction they're gonna go in in boxing. Oh my god, that looked like it was almost a low blow there for E.T. I know one thing, Francis, I mean, not Francis, uh, Fury better uh, thank those Saudi princes and Thank Frank Warren and Bob Aaron for saving his ass. Unfortunately, that video of him getting knocked down will last forever, but at least uh, at least that belt's still on his shoulder, and at least he still has that fight with Usyk, even though, ooh, the steam was kind of taken out of that. Just a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. 38 seconds to go. Oh, there's a good knee by E.T. and a knee by Mungle Cow. 30 seconds to go. Three-piece and a kick to the body by Monk Cow And a nice kind of a kick by E.T. And he's landing on him now. 
20 seconds to go. 10 seconds. So crazy how Usyk and Fury managed to look weak in their warm-up fights. Both of them look weak as shit. <laughs> They're the end of the row. Usyk fucking ran away by the skin of his teeth after Dubois hit him on the belt line and fucking Fury got put on his ass but luckily boxed his way to victory. Well, victory. And by the way, there is the end of course of round number two. Uh, let's see, I got even Ganu will demolish Wilder and MMA agree. Absolutely. Ganu said he and Wilder spoke about fighting in MMA against each other. Why won't KO one minute? Oh yeah, he's gonna kill him. It might even be a TKO. He might not even bother to stand. He might just take <laughs> Wilder down and pummel him on the floor. Uh if you're in a back down to fighting, got in the cage, that boy like the boxer talking out of his ass. Oh, fucking Fury couldn't even handle the takedown defense of uh he couldn't handle the takedowns of a Diaz brother. So he's definitely not gonna take that one. Oh shit, granted with the four ninety nine, thank you, bro. Savage ain't pinks on later today, joining in next week. Thank you, granted, for the four ninety nine. I owe you a trifecta for that. Here we go, final three minutes. Cheers, by the way, granted, part one. Round two. Round three. Whew. Here we go. Good tie up there. He kicked Wilder into chicken legs. There are quits. Says Weezy. Uh, you don't know me shit, says Grant. It's too late, Grant. And every time someone donates, they get the trifecta. That's the rules, man. But <laughs> hey, I always appreciate it. That's a good jab and a hook right there from Uncle Cal. A couple hooks. Good knee for E.T. Another knee. Olivier gets the leg in there and they separate. Oh, damn. That fucking down goes Uncle Cal right there. Fucking E.T. finally put him down. Four. Five. Oh, he's done. He's done. He's done. Wow. I thought he fucking just regularly dropped, but nope, that's it. That is it. Fucking E.T. does it. He does it. That was out of nowhere. He fucking dropped him right there on the body. And that was it. Oh, my God. I got to see that again. That was just out of nowhere. It was just a random knockdown. And all of a sudden, he's like, nope, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, shit. I like how everyone was infuriated and then got a serious and furious self said he took him seriously. I know, right? Oh, damn. That was an elbow that landed on him. Oh, that elbow got in there first. One went for a hook, the other one went for an elbow, and oh, E.T. put him down. Oh, oh, elbow smashed him in the face, goodness gracious, elbow absolutely smacked him and smashed him. Let's see, Wilder, uh, we make excuse to his family, we all appreciate you, Absolutely. Uh, what's going on, Low Blow, Bo, uh, I'm sorry, Bo, Low Blow Nickel, hope you're doing well, my guy, just in time to witness a beautiful knockout, that was wild, beautiful elbow, I saw him land that before the punch, but I didn't realize that'd be a kill shot, damn, oh, he got the fucking cowboy out on, see y'all done, E.T. gets his Reese's Pieces now from the short elbow, <laughs> left hook, left elbow, E.T. elbow home, <laughs> never see it coming, Absolutely. That was beautiful. That was just beautiful. The way E.T. timed it, and then the way he timed it to land before the punch did. The fact that he timed the elbow before the punch was beautiful, man. I love that. That's as good as it gets right there. But folks, it is now main event time. Kunk Lai. Any Muay Thai. Up against a Turkish man. Sunar Sen. What is his record? Golden Boy. Wait, this is his debut? You get a main event in your debut, you better be the shit. You get a debut in the main event? Kung Clyde, bro. This man is like one of the more consistent main eventers I've ever seen. He lost the Super Bowl twice, right? In his first two fights. Bounced back with a knockout win. And then a TKO win over a Romanian. 
I swear, like, this guy is damn near on Friday fights damn near every month. He's consistent. He's been on numbers 5, 11, 23, and 30. And now he's on 39. Kong Klai, I've actually seen him main event at least, like, three of these. I keep seeing this man's name always pop up. And he's a good fighter, too. Never boring. So at least he's, uh, at least one's getting their money's worth out of him. Uh, let's see, that elbow looked like an unidentified flying object to homie. <laughs> oh, boy. E.T. got those elbows, his pants. Absolutely, bro. Got some sharp ones in there. Chatri gives him a bonus, of course. They give him that big bonus he wanted. He's about to show his appreciation to everybody. And, folks, it is now about to be main event time. Let's get here with it. By the way, E.T., like, just looking at his face up close, he's definitely a descendant of, of the alien family. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. <laughs> and by the way, a reminder, everybody, the link is already up uh, in the live section of the channel. Seven hours. <sighs> Seven hours, 50 minutes. We will all... Rejoin and reconvene for one fight night 15, Haggerty and Andraj. Folks, make sure you leave your like. Hold on, I got you guys. Make sure you guys are ready because we're we're in for we're in for quite quite the day today. Between this beautiful card and between what we got coming up at night, man, it's it's going to be a fun one. So make sure you are ready for this shit. One more fight, everybody. Chadri needs to hook you up with a bonus as well. Oh, no doubt about it. I think that's pretty fair, especially since I've covered it, pretty much all of these cards, except for like maybe like two Fridays I couldn't do it. But I've done pretty much, I know more than other channels that usually cover these, so I definitely earned one. Let's see. Party continues here tonight. Boom, there we go. Bam, there we go. So that's where we will be right after the conclusion of the main event, everybody. Make sure you're over there. Leave your like and be ready because in about, we're looking at like seven hours. For that main event begins. And that main event's going to be something. I'm looking forward to that one. Bukow Sanchai tomorrow morning is going to be fun. Rico Verhoeven's going to be fun. I'm glad Derek Lewis and Almeida is still intact as well. Considering the UFC card lost three whole fights and shit. But still, I think we're in, as Granite said, yeah, we're in for a good controlled violence weekend. No doubt about it. Damn good weekend this weekend, man. I'm ready for it. Uh, let's see, Chatri got to kick in those bands. He does for Body of the Month. Oh, what do you know? How many bands we <laughs> exactly? Oh, man. But yeah, that's wild, man. The UFC lost two car. I mean, two fights uh, this morning because of the weight misses. Let's see. So these two fights are off tomorrow. Pichel and Bonfim is off. And then Hugo and Marcos is off. That's crazy. Oh! And look who has spoken. Look who's talking now. The fact that he went 10 rounds with Tyson Fury is crazy. <laughs> Q-Ball is finally saying some shit. Even though deep down he's probably crying. Well, not crying. He's just a little irritated. Not even crying. He's just irritated. I think it's probably the right word for it. Let's see. Bonfi missed weight. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Bonfi missed... Oh, yeah. That's right. I thought it was Pichelle. But no. Bonfi missed by three and a half. Uh, three and a half. And let's see. I gotta put my picks in on top. Oh, he missed two because the roses. <laughs> uh, Funs Flow. Jay, the translator, got a bonus. Uh, but you with the one language of British countries with commentary alone. I'm certainly trying my best. Shit. I think, I, I think, 
this year trying to pronounce the names. I think we did a good job of that. I think I think we nailed it. You're definitely right about that. No way. The fights are off. Two of them are. Bonfim and Pichelle, and then um, uh, Hugo and Marcos, and that's tomorrow. So it's like 11 fights tomorrow now. I don't even think they've updated on Tabology yet. Or they might have. Let me see. Nope, not yet. But they will. So yeah, two of these scraps are off. That's a shame, too. Fuck, the Bond theme usually discipline. Uh, well, the undefeated one is. The other one, uh, he, it, it all depends for him. But yeah, normally, normally they're on weight, but not always. And in front of the Brazilian fans, too, not good. And now Sonic Shen making his debut. Oh my god, he looks like he looks like a jobber. What the fuck? What is this guy's record? I need to see it immediately. This guy looks like a jobber. He looks like he was brought in uh to basically kick ass shit. What a shame it is, man. So here's what it is. Uh hold on. Yeah, Bond Fiend versus Pichelle's off. After Bond Fiend missed by three and a half. And then Hugo Marcus is off. After Hugo missed by two and a half. Shame indeed. Uh, Conclai looks like he just got some ET in him too in that pick. He definitely does. He's got a lot of ET in that fucking face. A lot of weight cutting and a lot of wars. A lot of, a lot of wars there for him. True J to Brazil. Don't like that shit, Nat. They, they normally don't. Normally they do not like that at all. Especially if it's a foreigner doing it. Ah. But here we go, folks. Main event time now. You should have fill-ins in case, uh, uh, for some, you would think, but it seems like they only care about main events when it comes to fill-ins. The rest of the card, they, the, they'll do it if it's enough time out, but, like, the weighing of, yeah, that sucks. Someone been away, yeah, they should. Should do it that way. But, yeah, a lot of weight misses on this one. Now Conclai being checked out. Let's see. Do you have any favorite fighters in the UFC? Um, I mean, there are some I like watching, but I can't say I have any that are like diehard favorites because I'm just a crazy violence addict. I usually just root for everybody to kill each other. <laughs> but, uh... There's some fighters in there that I like watching. Usually like some of the action fighters. A lot of the kickboxers that they have I like watching. I usually like watching a lot of the wrestlers when they are aggressive, like a bow nickel type. Uh, but yeah, it all depends. If they're aggressive in action style, I'm usually good with that. Uh, is it Brazil? <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm sure there are martial arts. They when you money. They're celebrating Thanksgiving early in Brazil. Damn, you ain't like it's shit. It seemed like it with the way they're eating. Oh, we're getting a Y crew here now. We're getting a Y crew. And I love how the Turkish guy is just walking around. The foreigner, the jobber, just walking around. Oh, he was overweight too? Hold up. So this debutante missed weight here. That's why it's a catch weight, huh? Damn, everybody missed weight this week. Alex Beta. Yeah, he's a good one. I like him. The only kickboxer I don't like in the UFC is Israel Adesanya because he's a um, uh, he's a he's a fruity he's a fruity type he's a fruity fighter he he was good in his early run when he was finishing people but now he does that fruity shit where he just stays on the outside and tries to control it 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 was very boring to watch Nurmagomedov and friends absolutely Nurmagomedov and friends the whole family really is pretty damn good Usman I like Umar I like. Uh, Makachev is a, is a fucking animal. Even that Sherabu Demagomedov guy's got potential, even though he's got shit ground game, but fuck, at least his kickboxing is there. Uh, let's see. We call Jerry Alex, like can the UFC, uh, Alex, Jerry, and they're gonna be champions, call for the UFC, this is granted. Uh, me too, bro, don't like Izzy, boring as fuck, says Bo Nickel. Yeah, that's how I feel about Israel. 
I liked him like earlier in the run, but then when he won the belt and he wanted to keep it, I didn't like him because he started. He basically fought to win. He didn't fight to have a fight. Eighteen and seven for the Golden Boy, Golden Boy Sen. Sunner, Golden Boy. Wait, hold on. It's not Sen. It's Shen. Okay, Shen. Shen without the H. So there, Golden Boy Shin. 78 and 17. That is 95. Yeah, about 95 fights for Old Kong Lai. My man's about to hit 100 fights in Muay Thai, which is like uh, full-on OG status right there. He's close to it. He's close to the 100 club in terms of Muay Thai fights. I feel like once you hit triple digits in Muay Thai battles... It's rare when somebody can actually fuck with you, unless you're like Jack. I mean, unless you're like Darky, where you come in with 150 wins, 50 losses, and then you get iced by a body shot in one round. Here we go, folks. Man of that. Good luck, okay, Evan Sunshine. He's got the Turkish flag there. Well, okay, Kung Klai, Logan okay, Vishan. When you fake De La Hoya's nickname, you know you're going to lose. <laughs> That's true. You don't want to take that nickname out of all the ones that are available. Get kicked to the body by Kung Klai. Shen got on the highlighter shorts. They're like highlighter yellow. Good four-piece by Shen. To the body and the head. Going to the body and the head. And the low kick there by Shen. Shen tagging up Kung Klai early and often. Kung Klai waiting on him. Sander Shen gonna faint his way to the inside. Low kick by Kong Klai. Don't even land. Low kick by Shen. Couple of them by Shen. Two piece by Shen right down the middle. Kick to the body by Shen. Kick to the body by Kong Klai. Damn, and they both just exchange body kicks. Just bow, bow. Lighten up each other's bodies. Four piece, five piece by Shen and a low kick. Yeah, it is getting crazy now. It's getting crazy now. Hook by Kong Klai almost there. Nice catch of a kick. By Kung Klai. Oh, four piece by Kung Klai. Shen pushes him back. I like this pace right here. This is the type of pace you want to see. You don't want to see no slow shit. You don't want to see no slow shit. Damn, both crack shins. Oh, I, I heard that in my headphones. It was loud. Oh, my God. Fucking Shen with about six piece combination fucking punches in a row. Like six fucking jabs. And now the Turkish fighter with the hands. Oh, yeah, you're getting too cocky now. High kick. Six piece of the knee by Shen. Oh, fuck. Good hook by Shen. Elbow by Shen. Hook by Shen. Kong Klai got to fight off the ropes. Come on, Shen. Why are you pausing, bruh? Why are you pausing? Go back in there. Yeah, go back in there and hunt. Low kick by Shen. You got Kong Klai on the ropes. You got Kong Klai on the ropes. Low kick by Shen and a straight jab. I tell you what, the TIE fighters been getting smoked by these goddamn foreigners, man. I know I talk about it in nausea, but shit. <laughs> these foreigners are coming here, and they're literally just owning the TIEs in their own house. This is honestly wild shit to see when you think about it. Oh, my God. Good hook there by Shen. <laughs> High kick, Kong Klai. Two Bs by Shen. Come on, Kong Klai. You got to bring it home for your people, brah. Oh, my God. That's a good three piece by Shen. Shen is one of them. Oh, down goes Kong Klai. The rim has to catch him, and it's over. It's over. Oh, no. Another one gets smoked. Another execution. Kong Klai is a dead man. He's a dead man. Oh. Oh. Another Thai fighter gets fried, bro. That motherfucker got fucking buried. Oh, my God. He dragged the body, and he put dirt on that bitch. Oh, my God. Buried another tie in the dirt, man. Fuck. Oh, my God. Wow. Bro, these foreigners are coming in, and they are just... They're, they're owning the ties right now. Oh, my God. God damn. The only tie... Let me see. Russia. No, that was against Portugal. Russia. Ty did get one over France. Hungary took out Ty. And let's see. Damn, that's three and one. Only one Ty fighter stood their ground. That was Long Earn. And knocked out a Frenchie. But damn, a Russian knocked out a Ty fighter. <laughs> a Hungary fighter knocked out a Ty guy. 
And now, uh, oh my god. Now a fucking Turkish man put one in the floor, bro. Russia, Hungary, and Turkey just came here and fucking disrespected all the Thai people. That fucked up. Good night, KO. Body bagged him. Snuck it on the jaw. Good trend tonight. Hope, second show, keep it up like this. I agree, man. High knockouts. I love this. I love it. I love it, man. Just beautiful. And look at that. We're talking just a knockout of Sen in the main event. Uh, a knockout by E.T. Let me see. A, uh, a unanimous decision there. K.O. by Jack over Darky, which is a wild fucking name. Hilarious name. Uh, let's see. Nung Champ with a knockout win. Uh, let's see. Uh, Amundet with a knockout win. Uh, Kuz, boy, Kuzman decision. Abdullah majority. Longer and TKO. Uh, Patrick unanimous decision. Gabriel decision. And a TKO by the Philippines over South Korea. The Philippines have been killing it in fucking MMA on these cards, by the way, too. Crazy shit. They had like three Filipino fighters come in here and just wreck shop in MMA for no reason. Refs are on the game. Them refs are fucking awesome catching the fighters. They fall. Get the ref for bonus on the translator. Real shit, man. I'm glad I'm glad you mentioned it, Flo, man. Bro, I've seen these referees catch about three heads tonight. Well, three heads today. They're like diving, catching that motherfucker head on the palm, bro. <laughs> Some of the craziest shit ever, man. Ever. Refs on the game. This guy's sin looks pretty legit. He does, man. I love knockout mechanisms. Boxing refs do the same. Man, boxing refs definitely got to do the same. It's funny because kickboxing refs got to do it. MMA referees is difficult because when you're on the floor getting pounded, you know, you can't do nothing. But, yeah, boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, bro. I mean, boxing, kickboxing refs, they got to get on their shit. They got to get on the level of Muay Thai, guys. Uh, MMA referees, they don't, you know, they don't count because motherfuckers get hit on the floor and shit. But, yeah, boxing, kickboxing, refs, y'all got to get on y'all games. Start catching some heads and shit, man. But, goddamn. And, folks, remember, the fun is not even over with yet. Speaking of kickboxing, seven and a half hours. Seven and a half hours from right now. By the way, that guy got a bonus, much deserved. Seven and a half, we have Haggerty. And Andraj, main event on Amazon Prime. We see the names of Ty Rotolo on the card. Sexan, man, he was a no one. Muay Thai legend. Uh, Simsamut on the card as well. Uh, let's see. Patello on the card as well. Let's see. Mengbo on there. Ben Tainani, who I heard is a good uh, heavyweight. Uh, and Supergirl is on it. And a random Filipino versus Filipino MMA fight. But yeah, not a bad card. With a fire main event at the end. And that all goes down in damn near seven and a half hours. So that's going to be some crazy shit. Uh, I hate seeing someone hit their head when KO'd. I know a guy with permanent brain damage from it. Dude's basically a vegetable. Yeah, that's why I'm so happy a lot of these like refs, as you guys have mentioned, save lives. That's why I'm so happy these referees jump in and they and they catch the, the fucking heads on the floor before they hit it. I love that shit so much because you're really saving them from long-term damage from that. See, dude's got a ramen booster. <laughs> Yo, I, I peeped that guy too, man. That fucking quarter man's got the ramen jersey. I love it because that, that gym has like basketball shirt, like basketball style jerseys for their gym shirts. And the fucking dude had the ramen jersey. That shit was hilarious. But yes, folks, I will see you all in exactly seven and a half hours. The link is above in the animal room. Thank you all so much for a fun morning as always. Remember, the fun's only beginning around here. We still have this card at night. We have uh, tomorrow, of course, you're not able to be here tonight, Bukow Sanchai. We have Rico Verhoeven's return to kickboxing after two years off. And it looks like we have a shortened UFC card, minus two fights due to weightness. But Almeida and Lewis weighed in on the mark, so at least we know the main event is still going to be there. And the original main event. Uh, Sixan isn't the best, but he's the most entertainment fighter of Thailand. Hell yeah, man. That's why I'm, I'm really looking forward to him fighting tonight. But folks, thank you all so much for hanging out. I'm going to see you guys in exactly seven hours from right now. It's going to be a fun card tonight and a fun weekend overall. I'll see you all then. Until then, everybody.